Hello everybody and welcome to Brevis Cast. Um, I am your host uh, Brevescus and with us today, finally, is David. Who dares to summon me this time? Oh my gosh. No, I'm not. I said. I said. I said. I said David, not the. Not the. Not voice for the man. <laughs> yeah, I thought of like a super villain called the like voice filter man or something. Okay, um. Okay, there's my gag. Okay, yeah, I'm done with that. So, not voice filter man. It's it's actual David. Yep. Nope. Okay. Okay. Um. We also. Okay, I'll, I'll try to cool down. <laughs> we also have Z Dog just so we can get this madness out of the way. Are red. Violets are blue. Oh, All right. <laughs> you are the yeah, first. That all makes sense here in a second, or whatever. You are the first person I have talked to that could pronounce that right. Just saying. Um. Oh. I'm. I. Whatever. Anyways. Um. Yeah. We always have uh, another special guest. A return. Not a returning. Um. A. Uh, a new guest, um, one we, something we have not done since forever. Um, uh, we have uh, Nerdbender's Duo Dreamer. Yay! Hello, everyone. Hello. Glad to be here. Yeah. Good to have Very you on. Glad to be here. Thank you this for inviting me. You're yeah, no to problem. I, I must say, I've always wanted to talk to you, and for well, you know, like I've always wanted to talk to you, and doing this is a dream come true. <laughs> oh man! Oh. Why, 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 why you have to do puns now? Come on! Because, oh, <laughs> dude, it's not even like it's not even five minutes into this I podcast, know. and we already have puns. Really, man? Come I'm on! Make, I'm gonna make it worse. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it worse. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make it worse. We're not even two and a half minutes in. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, wow. The opportunity was perfect. For those of you watching, for, for those of you watching at home, we're not advocating any of this. Um, yeah, uh, it, you can tell by how many we've had on at this point. It's kind of like a side little dream of ours to have the entire Nerdbender crew on here. And so far, dude, we're dude, 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 again with the with again with the pun, man. Really? What? Really? Oh, I didn't even you mean to. I didn't. You said I, a dream. I didn't I even. To okay, do. hold on. I know pause. what you're trying to do. Pa pause, duo. Pause. I I just want everyone to know that was completely unintentional, and I did not find it funny in the absolute slightest. Um, I'm watching yeah. you. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> how are you? Gonna, well, how are well, you? This a good start. How are you going to be a giant ro? How are you going to be a giant robot duo? I'm a giant robot. Okay. I'm Optimus Prime, doggone it. Oh, I have ways. Yeah, sure. Now, all, all machines have, like, weaknesses like, you know, computer viruses and stuff, so, yeah. Yep. And at least you're not Voltron. Like, yeah, I'm going to get my Voltron. <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. All right, we are four minutes in, and we have done absolutely nothing. Um... <laughs> Talking about this, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Um, uh, it's it's a it's a side it's a side dream of ours, not pun. Um, to have pretty much the entire Nerdbender crew on here, and so far we have three. Um, yeah. and Star and uh, Amber should should be pretty easy to get on, especially if Ruby versus Maka have. Thanks, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, Gotta catch them all. Uh, okay, uh, screw off. Um, so, <laughs> so <laughs> we have we have not a lot to talk about. Thank goodness. Wait, um, uh, something happened with your mic again, or what? Uh, never mind. I thought something happened with your mic. It oh, changed. Mm. Must have oh. must have had a Discord cut out because those happen like, on occasion. Um, okay. I don't know. Um. Yeah, so, 
Yeah, there's not there's not a lot to talk about, which is a, quite a breath of fresh air because every single time we have so much to talk about, it gives me pains. Um, uh, but thankfully, we don't have a lot this time, um, and the stuff we do have is going to be uh, quite short, actually. Yeah. We, it's weird. Yeah. Um, well, that's because that's mainly because of their quality. Yeah, that's true. Um, uh, especially not okay. Uh, never mind. Um, but uh, we need to get going. Um, <laughs> we're five and a half minutes in. Cool. Uh, so uh, a death metal came out, and it's one that I was not looking forward to at all. Uh, I went into with no uh, expectations whatsoever, and got well. I got average, basically. Uh, I got. We got Raven versus Twilight Sparkle, aka My Little Pony again, because that's mm -hmm. all. Because you know, that that's always nice. Like it's always nice. Like I I for before we get into how I, how much I actually like like slash dislike this fight, um, I just want to point out that I find it funny how we start the season with with the third time featuring Batman. And then the next episode, we have the third time featuring a My Little Pony character. Hmm. Also, yeah. Um, Three zeros. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways, so this being our third My Little Pony fight, um, uh, I don't know how Duo or David feel about this fight. Um, I have an idea on how Z Dog feels. I personally found it kind of meh. I mean, I'll admit it's like probably like the best like MLP fight out of. Oh, by far. I would agree. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by far. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess a lot of it has to do with the scale that they kept building up with each character. I mean, basically, they made them sound like freaking tanks, pretty much. Right. Way. Like when you stop and think about it. Well, if you if you saw the the clips, it it, it kind of seemed like tanks to me. I mean, especially what. Yeah, Twilight right. Sparkle and stuff, you know, and even especially right. Raven. Right, that's what I, I'm getting at. Yeah, this one, this one definitely had like the. What what I appreciate this time is that it was actually more of like a, like a serious episode. Like it wasn't like right. it wasn't some episode to have like oh let's do this for fun. And hey, we need a pony character. All right, here's here's Raven versus Twilight Sparkle because everybody wants that. Um. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what I that's what I kind of walked into it. I mean, I knew they were gonna be they were gonna be serious about it. Like, I knew this wasn't gonna be some sort of like Pinkie Pie versus Deadpool joke fight. Like, I knew or I knew rap, or Rainbow Dash versus Starscream, which yeah. I know some people still debate about that one. But <sighs> okay, um, <laughs> I, okay, can we, let's 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 uh. All right. So when we said before we before I kind of enforce a bit of a rule here, um, I am not trying to sound like a like a like a jerk, but um, yeah. Uh, when I said before how this is by far the best My Little Pony fight, that's really just because the other two are well. Not good. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, well, give 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 Dead, uh, Deadpool and Pinkie Pie a chance. I mean, that, no. that was actually funny. It was no. funny. It was and, funny and, as hell. And, it was and funny Rainbow as Dash hell. Versus, <laughs> and Rainbow Dash versus Starscream was like in season one. So. That's true. I mean, I guess yeah. that's true. I guess that's, that's true. true. I, I, it, you know, with with Pinkie Pie versus Deadpool, it was like we all knew how it was gonna end up because they both break the fourth wall. Chaos right. was gonna be going over the place we just didn't know it was going to be a draw but we knew it was going to be chaos you know most, so, most people most people expected it to be a draw like that part didn't surprise a lot of people yeah. um right um yeah. but now uh now okay so as for the as for the rule uh because i don't like those other two fights um uh can, can we can we talk about them as as less as possible as that that wasn't that was not English, but you know. The okay. The le the less we talk about them, the better. We have we have this to deal with, um, and I would like to okay. deal with just this. Um, yeah, it's 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 meh. Like it's I. 
I, I knew that I, I was only walking into this hoping that the animation would be good because the previews bored the crap out of me. Um, the the matchup itself is just ugh. Um, the I, I I hate the idea. I, I said this in the last recording session. Um, uh, MLP in versus does not does not sit well with me. Um, yeah, I, I see what you're getting at. Um, and thankfully, thankfully, um, in the recent Death Out cast, um, uh, they have said um, that it's it's very possible that we might that we, that they might not have a mild opponent character again. Um, yeah. Although, that, although if that although there is one mild opponent. Okay, Zia, I'm gonna stop you right there. Um, okay. 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 In in legit honesty. Okay, I'm gonna be 100% honest here. All right. So yeah, prefer pre preferably, I would have I would prefer to have no more My Little Pony characters in the show. That being said, and I said this in a but I said this in other servers as well. Like, yeah. Put put on like. Put me at gunpoint and force and like force me to have to add in another My Little Pony fight. Yeah, that that the one that Z Dog's referring to, that's the one I would go with. But it's just that one. It's just that one. No more after like no more please. I'm tired of it. And I know a lot of other people are tired of it too. Like, it, there's even some like pony fan there, there's even some pony fans that are like, why? <laughs> Um, like when they saw this announced, they were like, why? Um, there is one I don't mind seeing if they do this. And I made a prediction of this for season five, although it didn't show up. But a My Little Pony oh. did feature in season five. But I wouldn't mind seeing Pinkie, Bo Pinkie Pie versus Unikitty. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, okay. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Because Unikitty, she has a new show on Cartoon Network, and I feel like they're both similar, so why not have those two go at it? Okay. Um, <laughs> We're kind of getting off track. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, Raven versus Twilight. Uh, well, first off, uh, Raven wins 10 out of 10. Um, Yay. Um, it's, it's, it's it's been seven years. It's been seven years, and a My Little Pony character finally eats an L. Um, yeah. Finally. Um, and they ate an L in a pretty in a pretty meh fight. Um, Hang on a second. It's okay. It's uh, okay. It's it's not. Oh, mm. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Go now. Uh, I need, I felt it needed to be said that way because I'm done. So, anyways, um, yeah, uh, I, I feel, uh, like, when, sorry, I don't know where. It's gonna say something about the music, whatever. Oh, the music's good, yeah. The music's actually probably, the music's actually probably my favorite part of the episode. Yeah, they got a new intro music, too, this time, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. that was, uh, in the music of Batman, Batman vs. Black Panther. Yeah, they, the season f the, when when Black Panther vs. Batman aired. We talked about this in the recording session. You just probably didn't watch the episode. Um, uh, uh, the Black the Panther, Black Panther, Black, Black uh, Panther, Batman. I that. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did get around to that. Yeah, the um, yeah the the new intro theme was featured there. Um, um, yeah, uh, and we talked about that one before, so we're not gonna we're not gonna go into too much detail uh, on it again. Um, what what Zog was referring to is the battle music. Um, Which was, uh, oh, one. that. Okay, I thought you were talking the yeah. intro. That's that's the one thing that caught my attention. Oh, I forget the name of it. It was like something. Else. Uh, it was uh, Titans of Magic. Titans of Magic. There we go. Yeah. Titans of Magic. That sounds, that sounds pretty cool. Actually. It's yeah, a. It's, it was Song. I felt it fed the battle perfectly. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, it was Brandon again. Finally, um, Brandon hasn't done a battle battle track in forever, so I, I'm happy to have him back. Um, no, since uh, Naruto vs. Ichigo. Oh right, right. He did do it. 
Yeah, but that was the last one up until this one. Um, but yeah. And, <laughs> anyways, yeah, music's my favorite part of the episode. That's it. Okay, so the animation's okay. Like it's simply just yeah, okay. It's yeah, it was, oh, meh. Um, like, okay, first of all, why the animal or oh, why the tea? Why did the tea times go, joke? Thank you. Oh God, I don't, don't understand. Even that. don't even mention that. Thank you. No, we're, we're mentioning it because it's criticism. Okay, yeah. Oh my god. It's why. We're mentioning it. I was so upset when they show her playing with those ponies from. He died ago. I was like, why? They, why even mention that? Like, they showed the. When they showed the animation preview in the. In the DB cast, um, I watched it and Raven was playing with, with ponies. I was like, no! No, it's not even like I. I get they brought up just to be funny and just to have like a connection there, but it's not funny. It's not. Yeah, it's like, bleh. like why? <laughs> I don't know if that's like, it's it's a bad joke based on a bad show. That that should tell you alone. <laughs> yeah. that, that should tell you alone that it's a like the fact that it's from a bad show in general should tell you that it's a bad for. It should tell you that it's a bad joke, but then they made that they actually made the bad joke that was actually like that was even that would have been bad in any show, like that's not a good joke. So, no, I didn't like the. I'm, I'm still flabbergasted that they're getting an actual theatrical movie. Uh, don't even. Don't, no, we're not going Teen Titans Go here. Um, <laughs> um, although I will say another problem I had was the Raven Sprite. I hated it. Um. Like, it was, it was alright. I, I I understand that this was like the only Raven sprite they had to deal with, but at the same time, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world. Though. No, okay, yeah, I'll give you that. I, I, I understand like where you're coming from, but like, there have been like the worst sprites on the show. I'll give you that, yeah. Right, yeah. Kirby versus Sonya! I was well. just <laughs> 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 Beat you to it, Zedon. Ah, uh, dang it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that, and that there were worse sprites. That doesn't really, like, forgive these sprites, but at the same time, like, I can, I can, I can agree. Um, well, the, the other issue is that they don't, like, they don't blend well with Twilights, and Twilights are actually good. Like, that's the only thing I'll give My Little Pony, is that its sprites are good. Um... I, actually, I think they're from uh, Fighting with Magic. So. I think so. Um, I know a lot of people have been like complaining about how they look like they they were just like pixelated stills from the show. Um, um, and then people and then people brought up, no, those are actual sprite. Look, that's an actual sprite sheet. Here, look at this. Um, and then people like turned like either they either like ignored it altogether, which doesn't surprise me at all, um, or. Um, they they were like oh okay cool that's actually pretty impressive um, but no, the fact that people just ignored the fact that like the, the, the fact the fact that people ignored that they they ignored people um, uh, saying they're not stills they're actual sprites um, um, that doesn't surprise me at all because it's the internet um, um, but yeah um, so yeah. Uh, Quality, okay, quality wise, the animation is just kind of meh because the sprite, because right, because the sprites are, are eh. Um, also, I kind, of, it kind of felt like not really much happened. Right. Like, right. Like it didn't feel like that. Like it didn't have like any oomph. Like it didn't have like any. I would agree. Not, yeah, it didn't seem like much of the the hits. Not even the kill shot um, had much of an Which, impact to it. Um, no, but, I kind of uh, missed the kill. I, I kind of missed the final blow too. Like I was like, "Whoa, what just happened?" You know, until all of a sudden, "Oh, it was the soul cell." Yeah. So it happened so fast. You know I mean, what I mean? But it, do okay. you did you guys felt there was any memorable moments in that episode? No. Like something that you yeah, that really. sticks out to your mind? Not really. I mean, I, I, mean, one. The, I mean, the Chief Giants go home show kind of like said like but it's, that's more like why it's, it happened. It's it sticks out for like. I think what I think what what we're trying to figure out here is what sticks out that's actually like good. Um, right. I mean, 
the kill shot I feel was like the correct way to go with like an MLP death. Like, I, I, like, I kind of agree, but at the same time, there was no like, like you said, there was no oomph to it. It was just. Right, it's not like um. Right, what's another one that comes to mind? It was just oh, she got crushed. All right. Yeah. Um. Well, like I. Mean, I I understand that th that wasn't supposed to be like super uber brutal, like say Silver Samurai. Um, or, what's another oh brutal, God. brutal death that we've come across? That I can use an example. I'm no. Uh, we no. did. We. Uh, what about a Squisher Duck versus? Oh yeah, oh, that, that, that was yeah and yeah. brutal. Yeah. So. yeah. I think what makes it worse is that when when asked like why was the death not not really that. Brutal. I'm, I think it was in the commentary. Um, I didn't watch the commentary because I'm not a first member. Um, because, you know, fun times. Um, yeah, money. I have zero of it. Um, uh, no, people were talking about how they said in the commentary how they didn't want to have the deaths that brutal because it's a My Little Pony character. Kids, like, like it's like, heaven forbid, think of the children! Um... <laughs> um <laughs> They, again, they do have a point, but like, what about uh, Pikachu, Charizard, Venusaur? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, we saw, we saw Pikachu again. We saw Pikachu again, we Pikachu again <laughs> blended into uh, a smoothie uh, and get drunk by Blanca, and we had yeah. Pokemon getting seared and chewed up and whatnot. But they can't do that to a My Little Pony. Yeah, it's like yeah, what like, makes what makes My Little yeah. like what makes My Little Pony so different? I don't understand. Because their baby girl, because their baby girl is poisoned. But I, I went to see some body parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we it's should like, actually put a hashtag. We should do hashtag Pokemon Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> I am having too much fun you, with this you, stuff. Just, yeah, you know, me too. I don't have to be back. No, you're getting too ahead of yourselves. We'll get to the Pokemon incineration I, later. I know, yeah. yeah. No, oh, mm, okay. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I, I don't under... I don't understand why why Ben and Chad will, will say, like, wait, like, they didn't want to have Twilight die brutally because... Uh, because kids might watch, don't want to see that. When we've had so many, when we've had so much worse happen to so uh, like so much more kid appeal characters. Like My Little Pony is kid appeal, sure, but we've had way more kid appeal that has had way more brutal deaths than this. Like even like, yeah. Pokemon aside, there was yeah, Pokemon like, aside, yeah. like um, even like okay, McGrath the Crime Dog. He's a kid appeal. Yes. He's, He's a kid appeal. Yes. He's a kid appeal character, and there was so. And while there wasn't a lot of impact to it, it was still. You could still see. You could still. I don't know how to put it. It's. It's more. There was blood. There was, there was yeah. blood. Yeah. Sure. There yeah. Was I'm not okay. I'm not saying make it gruesome looking or gory. Oh yeah. Um, but sometimes you need to tone it down. I mean. But uh, but not not this. This was. This was yeah, that, this was that pony needed was, to die and die hard. It, it was it was kind of, it was and, kind of a it was. Didn't Renamon didn't Renamon had a yeah Renamon. Oh yeah, Renamon with the bone. Oh, Renamon. Yeah, Renamon. Even like the neck. yeah, even the the like the Sonic characters that died too. Right. Do, do they like what? Do they not are? Do they not matter? Also, the, also, also Mario. In, uh, oh Mario, yeah. Mario, yes. Uh, What's another one? Well, saw, he pretty much like, got buzz sawed to almost in half. If you look, that was, wow. if you really think about it, if you really think about it, most of the characters that have been featured on Death Battle before appealed to kids at some uh, in some capacity. Um, he Man and Lino. That too. Uh, yep. Well, that one wasn't really that bad, but it was whatever. Um, anyways, so yeah. Uh, Doom guy. No. Uh, no, that's I mature. Not not, not that's. Not like, yeah, that's that's from mature um, artisans. Yeah, like we've had Pokemon characters, we've had Sonic characters. Oh, sorry. My, uh, my oh, I, I've lost track of the time. The, sorry, I thought you were talking about the gruesome death thing. My bad. Yeah, but we've had we've had we've had more kid appeal characters than My Little Pony characters. Like, right, yeah. In, in, oh, okay, I get what you're saying now. My, yeah. my apologies, I lost. I yeah. zoned out for a little bit. Yeah, in terms of the scale of kid appeal characters, like just how much 
they appeal to kids. We've had way more characters than than My Little Pony, right. at, who have died more more brutal ways. So I don't understand what their whole thought process was behind this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I appreciate the kind the sort of fake out kind of thing. It wasn't really that much of a fake out, but it was. Oh yeah. yeah. They 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 attempted I, I it. Thought I thought Twilight was winning. I thought Twilight was going to win until I, I saw the soul self. Boom. Yeah, yeah, when when Raven turned into a pot, I basically just lost it. I was like, no, okay. Like I was I was about to like take take off my earbuds, get up, get up off my chair, and just walk out of my room. <laughs> like I was just I was I was not feeling it. I was I was gonna get so mad. Um, um, yeah, and then and then Twilight got got you know pancaked. Um, yeah. Pancake, pancake. There we go. That's that's probably what I'm imagining now. Just um, a, a flat little pony. That's like no blood, no guts. Just like a flat, you know, thing. Like it's flat little pony. Flat little pony. <laughs> 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 there. Uh, I think I, f I think we found our title, boys. <laughs> flat little pony. There we go. Uh, that's been a while since we've done that. Um. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, uh, animations, man. Sprites are man. Fight is nothing special. Um, kill shots. Kill shots. Lame. Voice actor. Voice acting. Um. It was. It was all right. Yeah. Yeah. Voice acting. I felt like. Okay. Both characters did sound like. Um, like who they were trying to be, but I don't know. Like Raven just kind of sounded a bit off. Raven sounded like emo kind of kind of emotionless. I I say that in like a loose term, but eh. Um, I felt like uh when when voicing uh Raven, they were trying to go more for like the injustice route rather than the Teen Titans uh, cartoon route. Um, which I mean, okay, that's fine. I like. Uh, I, I actually I actually kind of like the the voice for Raven in Injustice. I hate her model, but um, like I hate her design, but I like that her voice is fine. Um, so that's all that's all sounding good. But at the same time, you really could like you really couldn't just go off with the the cartoon. They're they're both the whole thing here is that they're both voiced by Tara Strong. So why why? Which actually both were voiced by the same voice actor. Yeah, Kira Buckland. Um, Kira yeah. Buckland. Yeah, uh, and uh, she she did pretty she did pretty good as Twilight. I don't watch My Little Pony, so I can't like I I can't uh, judge in one hundred percent. Yeah, basically most of the positives for this episode came from Twilight, which is pretty ironic. Um, <laughs> except except for uh, except for the fact that she lost. That's a positive for Raven. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and. Yeah, and but also uh, I don't know if we're gonna uh, transition, but that's also kind of the case when it comes to the analysis, in my opinion. Oh yeah, analysis wise. Um, like, Twilight was a lot more funny in my opinion, and uh, Ravens was just there. Like I don't really remember any. The only, the only, the only bit I laughed at in the entire video, the entire video, um, was the uh, was the merchandise joke. Um, when they were talking about how Twilight has wings, like they were talking, about, oh look at all what these wings can do. Oh, by the way, they can also sell merchandise. Um, <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, yeah, that's why it's funny. True. <laughs> like most has. I also like the part like, when did this become Dragon Ball Z with baby girl horse horse toys? I yeah. was when I was looking at for clips for Twilight, I was surprised of how much power she has. Well, what the fuck? Wait, 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 this is my little pony for I didn't, girls? I didn't, I didn't like, laugh at, I didn't laugh at that joke because I was too, like, focused on how mad I was that they were actually going with that, because, um, it's been said, it's been said that, uh, to perform that attack, Twilight needed to have the power of, of other ponies, um, like, the other alicorns, if I remember right, um, um, so I was too, bit like, they, they they were they were talking about that as if they were like using that as an ability that Twilight can do, um, and I was just too. Uh, I never found the found the time to actually laugh at the joke because I was too focused on like wait they're including that why. Um, Did anyone felt that they purposely threw us off 
on the analysis until they towards the end they explain like there was one part where I was just thrown off I thought that you know Twilight had the advantage in terms of the straight because of the whole moon sun feat and then oh, when they I explained hate this, it I hate that feat so much and, and when they explained that oh it wasn't just her it was the other alicorn I was like oh okay because I was like I didn't that threw me off because I thought, like, you know... I, I knew have, about, I knew about that, so... And an island, like, come on. But, it, 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 like, in my opinion, it threw me off, and I, I wish I should have, like, done a little bit more research into that feat, rather than just looking at it from face value and say, oh, yep, right away, she has to straight advantage over Raven until they explained it at the end. Even then, okay, I, I knew about the whole Sun and Moon thing, and I was, like, groaning at the fact that that's a thing. Um, but I knew that I knew that she had other other character powers um, to do to do that. Um, but I um, when I was w looking into it, I didn't like research Twilight at all. Um, I have said this before. Uh, most of my most of my re most of my effort for researching this one went solely towards Raven. Um, but when I knew about the when I heard about the whole Sun and Moon thing, um, uh, I had remembered that I had found that, that the team I was working with. Had found a scan of Raven destroying a black hole. Um, Raven, Raven encounters black holes a lot, um, uh, and there was one where she destroyed it. There was one where she resisted the pull of it, uh, and another where she just completely escaped it. Um, yeah, she really does hate black holes. Um, I don't, I'm, I don't blame her, but she does. Um, I, I knew that, like, even if even if the whole moving the sun thing was uh, was like a was a thing that she could do, um, there the Raven's still shown. I was I was surprised they didn't cover that. That was weird. Um, uh, like they they didn't cover how Raven had uh had had like encountered black holes many 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 times before. Like she destroyed something that required the destruction of a star. Um. Meanwhile, Twilight just simply moved a star. Uh, I was like, "Oh, well, okay, that's still <laughs> that's still in Raven's favor here," um, which I guess kind of leads us into the full circle of like ov the overall analysis, like not so much the the writing and jokes, just more so the research. Um, yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. I think they kind of like downplayed Raven. Like I thought that all I could say like Raven was just downplayed. Yeah. The the only thing I'll the only thing I'll say is uh, okay well it's right like Raven 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 wins um, so there we go um, but uh, the only thing I'll the only thing I'll say is that I feel like uh, they like I I got kind of mad at uh, Mach thirty six Raven like what the heck <laughs> like only like she's only Mach Mach thirty six really you know like. Like yeah okay Mark Mark thirty six you know forget the times that she's escaped black holes and fought like green lanterns and stuff no Mark thirty six <laughs> uh, although although that kind of that kind of plays into the whole uh, kinetic energy of the soul self which I guess is fine because uh, faster than light uh, kinetic energy is a no no um, so I mean okay that's whatever I also kind of like how they specifically said that they lowballed the soul self thing. I like that. Um, they they did a similar thing with uh, with Ichigo, but it, the difference is that they overplayed Ichigo and, in, and did it intentionally. Um, but in, in this case, they lowballed Raven and did that intentionally. I appreciate that. Um, I, I I like it sometimes when they say oh when they specifically come out and say by the way we are completely overestimating these characters and proving why they would still lose or. In contrast, it would be like, "Oh, we're specifically downplaying these characters uh, to prove why they would still win." Um, I like that a lot. Um, I like it when they do that. Um, unless it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's. I guess that's all I have to say about this episode. It was meh. It was 
I I prefer Black Panther versus Batman, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah. yeah but, overall, I mean, I'm so, like I I would prefer Shadow versus Bane or Bruce. Like they, yeah. like they they're similar. They're kind of similar in quality. Oh, I guess this one's faster. Um, but uh, Black Panther versus Batman is just kind of more well animated. Not to say anything against Jets, but man. Um, uh, um, there's a similar level of quality, uh, similar accuracy to it, um, uh, similar, like, joke levels, um, near similar reasons as to why it, why it exists, but at the same time, if anyone was gonna fight Black Panther, it was gonna be Batman, um, cause I know people were like, what about Black Mana? I'm like, shut the crap up, um, well, I don't know why. um, I, I'm, I'm, I, we shouldn't that. yeah, um, but, then, then it just kind of boils down to well, which one was more enjoyable to watch, and that was that was that was Black Panther vs Batman by a long shot. Um, uh, do, do David, you got do, you guys have anything to say? Uh, you can go first, Dave. Oh, thank you. Um, no I think it was pretty much just kind of that, you know, like pretty much what Robusca here said, you know, just kind of overall kind of, eh, you know. It's a My Little Pony fight, and it's not awful. That's a first. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, at least for once, I'm happy that a pony died. I mean, right? They <laughs> they kind of they kind of had it coming for a long time now. Yeah, they have it coming. They had it coming. The fans needed their sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> sacrificial pony. Yep, yeah. sacrificial pony. And it just had to be Twilight. Oh man, yeah. the rage is gonna be fun. The only Ooh. one that you know, the one that I didn't want to lose. Why? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, it was it was good. I I for what it, it for what it was, uh, I found it entertaining. Was it like mm. up with most death battles that were more epic than that? No, it wasn't. It wasn't an epic battle. It was. I guess you can say it was sort of like a filler. In a way, yes. it was like a filler episode. Uh, yeah. But but for what it is, I mean, I'm a I'm a big fan of CV animations, animations and stuff. So I, I always find that near and dear to my Sorry. heart. But in terms of like epicness, was this an epic battle? No, no, it wasn't. There was wasn't nothing. Me- we we covered this, but this was there was basically nothing memorable about this. But this episode, it was just kind of there. Right. Um, but at it's, the same time, it was still entertaining to watch. Though, at the same yeah. time, mm. in my opinion, yeah. this is this is a the sad, the sad part. The sad part is that the only memorable thing to me in that episode was Raven playing with those ponies, paying homage to and it, it, it really it really scarred my brain seeing that because I didn't want to see it at all. There. <laughs> this is a this is a low point for Jets. Like I love Jets, he's great. Um, but man, what happened? <laughs> like, like this. I'll tell you what happened. He had to do a pony fight. <laughs> that yeah okay. Fair fair enough. Um, <laughs> uh, in in legit seriousness no seriousness ser- but words are hard. Uh, seriousness though. Um. Uh, I'd say there's like like 90% of the fights he's done in season four, and even season three, were like so much better than this. It's not even funny. Um, hey, wait, what did he do in season three? Uh, Cami vs Sonya, Ken vs Terry, and uh, Urza vs Zoro. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Then. Again, um, nothing would get as good as Cami vs Sonya, in my opinion. So <laughs> right. I'm sure David would agree. Of course. We've really covered this already, yeah, so we're doing this we're again. Doing this. Yeah. Yeah, um, we're, yeah, we're beating a dead horse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But the horse okay. Be, yeah, oh, no pun intended there, I'm, I'm sorry, but... Alright. Uh, okay, so... so topic, please? Yeah. Um, right. So, let's... let's I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something new. Alright, so we're, we're gonna do like a scale... We're gonna do a scaling rating here. Like a, like a 1 to 10 scaling rating here. So the four of so the four of us the four of us are gonna give a, like on a scale of one to ten what do we think of this, this episode? Um, oh, okay. Uh, so uh, 
I I give it like a like a six, just overall. Maybe uh, maybe six and a half. Yeah, six and a half to seven for me. I'd say. I would agree. That's where I would stand. Six and a half to a seven, at most. Go. I'm I'm, I'm around a six myself. Okay. So so about a six average overall. Yeah. Pretty much. Which I mean is not a good rating, but at the same time it's not awful. Um, yeah, it's not that terrible. It's watchable, and that's a first for a fight like this. Right. Um, right. So, yeah, overall, it's kind of meh. Um, which I'm, I'll take that over absolute trash. Um, Correct. Any, any day. Yeah. All right. So, um, moving on. Uh, moving on to the next topic. Um, we talked about Raven versus Twilight way more than I thought we would. Um, oh, yeah, We need to get on with. Yeah, we need. Even yeah. jokes like I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, we need to get on with it. Um, I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, next fight has been revealed, and it's one that uh, a lot of people like. It's gotten a lot of mixed views I've seen. Um, and, but then again, when it comes to these franchises, I, I'm not really surprised. That's that's true. Yeah. Um, I'm correct to this regarding anime again. Yep. Yep. So, two yeah. new, two new anime franchises to Death Battle. Yeah. Oh, two new ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, these two have never been featured before. Um, nope. Um, and also, just for clarification, this is why Duo's on. Um, yeah. Because he's a fan. Because he's he's the he's the guy he's the, he's the man. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, what we, what we are referring to is Jotaro from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure versus Kenshiro from Press of the North Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty mm-hmm. high in my opinion. I'm, I'm really excited for this one. Even though I don't know a lot about it, I'm really happy. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I, I don't care for either character or franchise. Um, uh, I, I'm going into this hyped for the, for the fight. Um... <laughs> I would agree that I think that's where I stand too, but you know, like, like I, I'll confess right now I've never watched either of these. Um, Ten. And I see a nice jo- Netflix icon right on my home screen. Hmm. But anyway. Oh. Then, um, oh. 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 Okay. Hang on. Um. But you know, I'm kind of excited for this fight too. I would agree. I'm with. I'm with Robuscus here. Oh, that's just, pretty much it the, right now. The, the extent of like what I what uh, what I know about either is uh, when we break is uh, when we break Jonathan versus Kenshiro. <laughs> they did a pretty good job with that one, but yeah, yeah, that, that's where more than I can cheer on now is from as of this moment. Yeah. Um. Honestly, like if if I ever bump into bump into either show and have nothing else to watch, that might be something I might. Uh, look into, um, but the odds of that happening uh, are pretty unlikely. So, don't expect me to get into these shows anytime soon, unless I like actually start to get interested. Um, um, that was me. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm I'm hyped for this one solely because the like I said, the animation is probably going to be like god tier. It's animated by Zach, so um, um, if uh, and Zach did a similar match in the past, a, a matchup that's very similar to this one. Um, in terms of just like the the, the kind of uh, I guess the kind of type of characters these two are. Um, okay, I'm referring to Guts versus Nightmare, um, uh, and uh, if it's anything like that, but I I. That that a, like the episode as a whole was fine, but the the animation was oh so good. Um, um, but uh, if it's anything like that, I think we're in for quite a treat. Um, um, now we have Duo. <laughs> Duo, what do you think of this? Uh, when I saw Kenshiro um, in the you know the future episode, like what's coming up next, I just went. Ballistic. I'm like, oh my god, we can't wait to see this. And then when it's so Jotaro, I was like, ooh, this is a good one. Because I've seen this match many, many times before from other shows. Yeah. 
One of the most notably, um, One Minute Melee did it. Well, it wasn't a research battle, it was just an actual battle. And we've seen Kenshiro on DBX not long ago. Uh, we don't talk about that one. No. Uh, I, I, I wasn't a big fan of the, I wasn't a big fan of the animation on that one. Uh, but uh, I would agree that yes, even though how powerful Saitama might be, he can still be succumbed to his pressure points. So, but anyway. Uh, to take Kenshiro seriously for a death battle is like really a treat for me because I get to see one of my favorite characters, well, my favorite anime characters of all yeah. time, doing battle going against uh, someone that's almost similar to him, which is Jotaro. So, um, but to be honest with you, I've heard of Jotaro. I'm not too intimate with him because I haven't really seen much of JoJo Bizarre Adventure. I played right. the games before. But I've done a little bit of digging on getting to know more about who Jotaro really is and what he's capable of doing. And this might be a very close fight between these two. Mm, I'm not sure if I agree with that one. Um... I, 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 I agree. I, I feel that. Because I know some people are going to say, well, Kenshiro's not a stand user, so he can't. That's how not... can he okay. see? Well, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'll, I'll let you go. I was, I was going to get into my, like, what I think is going to happen, what, what I think should happen here, but I'll let you go. All right, but, well, like, I know some people is going to say, well, how can Kenshiro see the stand, uh, you know, Star Platinum, because only stand users can actually see other stands. But I'm like, well, yeah. Kenshiro can sense aura. So I was thinking, like, well, he'll be able to sense Star Platinum where he's at, because he's also able to, like, even blindfold, he can fight an army by himself just by right. doing their R and hearing their heartbeat. So I believe he can still fight Star Platinum. Will it be hard for him to get to Jotaro to touch him? Definitely. It's, but it's... in terms of strength, I think it's still kind of close in a way, but mm -hmm. one, it's gonna, one of them is going to slip, I feel. It's... The whole the whole scene uh, Star Platinum thing it's kind of a similar thing to a uh, uh, Karama and Naruto um, in Naruto right. versus Ichigo. Um, Karama could sense Ichigo's presence. Naruto's seen his soul before, um, and in a certain uh, in a certain transformation, he can uh, fight uh, clones that exist on another planet existence. Um, it's it's a similar thing here. And that actually leads me into another reason why Kenshiro could still see Star Platinum, is that uh, is his ability called Muso Tensei. Um, yes. Which basically, which basically turns him into a stand. Like he, he himself turns into a stand, basically. It's like the power of nothingness. Prince. Pretty much. Um, he can. So basically, he can still. Basically, with Muso Tensei, he can see and fight. Star Platinum. And this is where I get into what I think should happen here. Um, Jotaro is, jo Jotaro is screwed. <laughs> he's, um, he's giga screwed. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Okay, uh, the way I see it, the advantages that these two have are massive. They're, they're so clear cut in which one has which. Like, uh, Jotaro has speed because um, he's got the whole fast from the light stuff. He has time stop, which we'll get into in a second. Um, oh wait, wait, he has time stop? I didn't know. Yeah, that. Yes. but he can't. He can't use it too much though, because if he uses it too much, it stops his heart. It puts a it, strain on his body. Yeah, it puts a massive strain on his body. It can literally only last like five seconds. It's literally one of the worst time stops I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, I would agree. That sounds. Right. I mean, but the series with the, I mean, with the series with Dio, I mean, it's kind of hard to. Yeah, Dio can can spam time, uh, can spam time stops. Jobo cannot. Um, yeah. Like Jobo could probably use it like once in an entire fight, and he's he's probably not gonna he's probably not gonna do it again. Um, Holy what? Okay. Okay. Sorry to sidetrack here, but uh. uh uh, remember when we were talking about the Crash games, uh, Z-Dog, before recording? Oh, yeah. Right. I'm looking on Steam right, right now. 
uh, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is available for free purchase on Steam. Oh, hmm. shoot. For Windows only, sadly. Oh, that's well, fine. I have it for Windows the PS4 anyway. That's, you might pick it up. That's whatever I have it for PS4 anyway. That, that's, uh, uh, anyways, back on topic. Um, oh, yeah, back yep. on topic. We got yeah, so Jot so Jotaro has uh, speed and time stop. The thing is, Kentro has like literally everything else. <laughs> um, um, and there's the whole mostly thing. Mostly experience, mostly experience, because yeah, he like even even if he's facing someone of like a martial arts that he's never seen before, he'll pick it up. Yeah, and know exactly how to counter it. There was one battle uh, against one of the uh, Fists of the South Star. I forgot his name. I think it was Salzar, I believe. I can. Um, I don't uh, remember, but, but, any, but anyway, his organs were reversed. Because when he first ow. fought him, he pretty much tried to touch every single pressure point that's going to kill him, but it didn't kill him because all of his organs were reversed so pretty much his heart was on the other side on his right side Ow. everything was reversed and then he learned i think he learned if i remember correctly he learned by hearing his heart the wait a minute his heart's on the other side that means his pressure points are reversed so he learned from there that he can touch the right pressure points on the right sides and that's how he beat salzar and many times he's fought many other fighters with different martial arts backgrounds and picks it up and learns how to counter it. He's like a, you could say he's almost like a Goku, like a genius in combat. Hmm. Like he'll pick it up, he'll pick up what kind of strategy you have and then exploit that. You know, oh. but at the same time, Jotaro is a strategist himself. He's a good strategist. But in terms of like the fighting experience, compared to um, Kenshiro, eh, not so much. Because we're talking about a master of an art that only one sh can be master of. Like yeah. no one else can be a master of Hokuto Shinken. Uh, the other thing too is that um, people like to bring up, oh, but Kenshiro can't see or fight. Like he can't see or affect. Star Platinum because he can't, yeah, um, which we've brought up before, Musa Tensei bodies that. Um, right. Um, the other thing too is that um, this is something that most jo uh, Jotaro supporters for some reason don't like to talk about, is that um, it's clear in Jojo that whatever happens to your stand happens to you. Exactly. So, Definitely. So if you get like let's let's say if you get like a but if your stand gets electrocuted or something you're now gonna get electrocuted if your stand like if your stand loses an arm or something you're now gonna lose that arm. Um, so quick um, question: Say if Kenshiro did the pressure points on the stand, will that also affect Jotaro? Yes. I would imagine so. Like if it. If he was able to hit the same with a pressure point, I would imagine he would be able to like do everything to have him do it. And that's the big thing here. That's the big thing that's kind of making me say, oh, okay, yeah, Kenshiro is winning this. Um, and then, okay, so he's gonna go Musa Tensei, and then he's gonna. Okay, he literally has to hit either Jotaro or Star Platinum once, and that's it. Um. um uh, what? Uh, yeah. What? Z -Dog? Hello, hello, hello. But uh, I'm still here. Z Dog? Okay. Yeah, Wait, sorry, what? I just had nothing to say, that's all. My apologies. Oh, someone oh. someone was going. Like, they were, like, sounded oh, like they were having I some problems. I, I think Discord glitched out there for a second. Oh, okay. Um, uh, anyways. Gotcha. Anyways, so, yeah. Kencho literally has, like, what being stronger than, like, not only is the pressure points a thing, but Kencho is literally stronger than, than, Jotaro's durability, uh, Jotaro or Star Platinum's durability and, and strength, like way stronger. So combine those two together. All he has to do is just hit Jotaro or Star Platinum once, and it's game over. Um, All you have to do is just tap into that se other seven to seventy percent of his strength, and he's done. Yeah, like he, That's all he, he this is this is an, this is a classic case of one is fast. But one is super strong. 
Um, right. The, um, just like the other battle I think oh, you were about, uh, Probuscus, the one I was mentioning to you. It, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, the difference, though... Would you unlike, believe... Huh? No, I was going to mention something about uh, Kenshiro's durability. I don't know if everyone knew about this one, but... Would you believe that a skyscraper fell on top of him yep. and the skyscraper was supported? It didn't like collapse, collapse. It just stood on his head oh my and way. just gave way. No bullshit. And Ken way. yeah, Kenshiro was just like, ha ha, no. Um, yep, not dying today. <laughs> and he can also ignore pain too. Yeah. He can also ignore pain. That doesn't there make him one time. Uh, that doesn't make him one time one of the Try it. Go, sorry. I'm saying that doesn't make him unkillable by any means, but he's not gonna feel True. much of anything. Right. Because there was um, there were many times where someone shot an arrow to his chest, didn't even flinch. All he did was just grab the arrow, took it out of his chest, threw it away, grabbed the person that shot him, picked his head up, and just crushed it like a grape. All right. Wow. And there was another time where he fought his brother Jaggy. Jaggy picked up this big boulder, hit it on the top of Kenshiro's head, did not flinch, not even once. He still bled, he didn't even flinch. He just like, How? he gets hit his head, and he's like, you know, you don't understand that you're a dead man. Killed his brother right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the moment he says, you're already dead, you're dead. Pretty much. Um... <laughs> Which that's that's really all Jotaro is gonna hear. Like Kendra is just gonna say that, and then he, then Jotaro is just dead. Like his head's just gonna, like, like explode. It's crap, but it's like, that that that'd be funny. I hope they say. Um, I hope he says it in the in the episode. You're I already. Dead. Oh, if they don't, if he does, if he doesn't, it's such a missed opportunity. Um, yeah. Well, then, they, well, then again, that brings up the question: Is there gonna be like voice acting? Like, or there's gonna be like hmm. Japanese titles? Uh, this sounds like. On one hand, I, I hope, hope so. Yeah, on one hand, I hope so. But on the other hand, their most of the, the most of their famous lines are better in Japanese. I hate Japanese sub animes, but um, but yeah, this this time it, they kinda... might they might use voice clips from the show, yeah. especially yeah. when he says you're already dead. They're probably gonna use that. Or or Jotaro saying like Zawardo or something or some crap like that. I don't really like Jojo as much. Um, jo Jojo has like the weirdest attack names ever. It's weird. Um, you know what I think? Uh, Jojo uh, supporters are gonna say that Jojo is actually stronger because Star Platinum can destroy diamonds with his mouth. Right. Something like that. Okay. So but here's the I'm like thinking, but but I'm thinking like. Well, that's jaw string. We're talking about yeah. striking it's string. Not, I mean, yeah. it's still impressive. Don't get me wrong, but Star ma majority of <laughs> majority of humans have a lot of more jaw strength than they have arm strength anyway. Although to, to support, he's not going to go up and bite Kenshiro. Like what? What do you? Think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to support the to support that feat, though, I'm going to actually say that that's actually a legit thing. Um, but to con to prove its consistency, Star Platinum actually I think he was up against like a giant like uh, cage of uh, teeth, and they were said to be like as tough as diamonds. And what did Star Platinum do? Just punch right, just punch right the crap through it. Um, um, but but that's still that's still not as good as anything Kenshiro has done. Um, like yeah. es especially when you take into account that. Um, you know, we, it's pretty clear that um, durability and uh, like atta attack potency can, can kind of scale to each other because of Newton's third law. Um, but the other thing too is is that even Kenshiro's other strength feats, uh, they they dump on that. <laughs> um, so no matter. Um, so again, a skyscraper fell on his head and it didn't give way. Yeah. Like seriously. He was also, I think it was like thrown through a bunch of, or the, or like, there was like a domino effect of skyscrapers and they just all fell on him and he was like, ha ha, no. Um, no. <laughs> um, but, but, Kenshiro was a scary dude though. He is he though. Is one, yeah, it definitely like, sounds there was, scary enough. He has, he has abilities where 
he'll touch a pressure point on you, and he'll for it, it pretty much forces your muscles to contract to the point it breaks your back. Yeah, um, that's can- how. And he can force you to tell the truth too. You have to tell the truth if you touch a pressure point. The the you dude. Know? The dude destroyed a tank by attacking its pressure points. Tanks don't have pressure points. <laughs> I know. Like that's not possible, but he did it. He scares. He scares the hell out of me. I don't want to be touched by him. To be honest. Okay, so basically what we're saying is uh, Jotaro's dead. He's like yep. so dead. Uh, that's and, it. And here comes the salty oh. Jotaro fans. Oh no. Oh uh, well. Um, he is already dead. But I know they're is. gonna say, well, he won against One Minute Melee, that should count for something, but it's not oh. a research battle, guys! Hello? Uh, tell, that to, tell that to Mario vs. Sonic. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh... Rio Hawkeye yeah. is another one. That, yeah, the list goes on. Anyway. Yeah, the list goes on. Uh, anyways, that's it. That's it. That's it. Now, peop- now people watching this are probably wondering, what do I want to happen? Because I always go over that first. Uh, I don't give a crap, honestly. Like, like Ken- Kenshiro should win, but whether or not, like, what they're, what they're, what Death Battle is gonna do just doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't really, I don't really care anymore. Um, they have to come up with a really good reason for it, though. They have to come up with a really good reason gonna, for it. If, if they're, if they're gonna, if they're gonna give it to Jodo, they're just gonna say he's faster, and and you know, and Kenshiro doesn't have a stand. That's what they're. I'm, I'm calling it now. They're gonna go with that. I'm like, nah. Eh, well, okay. Um, yeah, but I think strength and experience should trump even speed. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's the other thing is that. Um, a lot of a lot of the times when you have like one character that dwarfs in in strength, but then you have another character that dwarfs in speed, that kind of that kind of brings up the question: Well, does does the character that dwarf in speed have enough strength to put down the character that dwarfs? In, okay, wait, okay, I I'm, I I think I I think I missaid that. Um, so one character like blitzes hard, but the other character like can one shot easily. Does the character that blitz hard have any way of of killing the character that dwarfs him in uh, in in sheer power? Uh, in this case, no. Right. In this case, no. Um, no. Like, it's kind of like Jordan, saying the Flash versus Superman, but it doesn't necessarily mean yeah. that Flash is going to win automatically because he's faster. Yeah, Jodo jo- jo- may be faster, and he has the time stuff that lasts five seconds, um, but. He's like that's really all he's got in terms of like special like abilities and stuff. Aside from that, it's basically just brute strength, and that's really it. And his brute strength is nowhere near uh, enough to put down Kenshiro. Meanwhile, Kenshiro right. can just like hit him once, and then his entire body will combust. Um, like pressure points or not. Um, so yeah, uh, basically. Uh, for me anyway, uh, Jodoro screwed, but I don't care if he wins, like, it, like, I'm gonna disagree if he wins, um, for, for reasons that we just said, um, like, I see no way Jodoro can win this one, um, but they, they could bring, they could bring up something, I don't know, um, uh, but, yeah, um, so, Jodoro's dead, well, Jodoro should die, um, (laughs) whether he's, whether he's going to, I don't know, um, and, uh, preference-wise, I don't care. I have no preference here. Uh, I, I, actually, I'm more on the Kenshiro side, but I don't really care. Yeah. So, so basically, I win no matter what. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cheat. I'm a. Ch- True. This, it's. I che- mean, that's kind of cheating, but at the same time, I, I can't. Okay. I can't do you're anything with, about it. Okay, your 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 lost streak hasn't been that bad, Romaskis. <laughs> <to be honest. laughs> yeah. You, you've gone, you've yeah. gone your fair to win. I had we two. Have I had two. Uh, compared compared to uh, let's see how many how many losses have I had in a row since before those two wins? Oh yeah, five. <laughs> you got to see a pony die before your. Pony. I know, and I also got to see an overrated flying rodent die, which was awesome. Um, oh. Oh, overrated! Oh, whoa! Um, whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> 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 Where's the <laughs> I, 
it seems it seems as though I cannot go a single podcast now without having uh, Batman fans uh, and wanting my head on a silver platter. But then again, oh. I've, but then again, <laughs> then again, oh. then again, then again, I don't care because I've been at this for quite a long time now, and yep. that nothing's happened. So, yeah. So, uh, and Batman fans have not really done anything about it because they don't. They surprisingly don't care. They only care when, uh, when people that either call themselves experts or are actually experts. Um, well, here's the reason why they say that Batman is not overrated. You want to know why he's not overrated? Because he's Batman. Because he's Batman. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's their reasoning. That's, that's, that's the gonna thing. be their reason. That's the thing. <laughs> that's why he's overrated. Reason now. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, so, yeah. So this season overall has been pretty great for me in terms of who's died. Um, but that said, I also had to see my. That said, I also had to see my second favorite Marvel character die. I had to see one of my favorite anime characters die. I had to see one of my favorite swordsmen die in a very painful way. Um, and then I had to see a character I just wanted to win because uh, uh, some other characters losing uh, versus the base is a pleasure to me, or uh, there or ones that I just don't care. Um, uh, so yeah, last season sucked, and this season's going great in terms of well, results. Win, win, win yeah, lost. yeah, and win, win, in terms of win, in terms of win losses. Actually, I wanna, I wanna flash on screen right now. Here's my, here's my, here's my win loss record in terms of characters I wanted to win. There you go. I count, and I counted. It's six and ten. Six wins, six wins, ten losses. I need more of these. Um. <laughs> um but, but this isn't counting one minute maze. No, so this is just death battles. And this is just death battle season four. Oh, well, so season... speaking of DBX. Yeah, let's move on from that. Um, okay. Yeah, we have two DBXs. We have two DBXs okay. to talk about. We have two DBXs. One good, one bad. Um, yep. uh, I think I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Uh, first, let's start with a good one because it was the first to come out at the time. Chun Li versus Tila Lockhart. Yay, it was pretty good. Hey. It was good. It was awesome. I like this one a lot, actually. I didn't. I didn't really them, expect them legs and them boobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if you're gonna bring this up, Joe. I had to say that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, yeah, I went. Uh, I didn't. I didn't care for it at first, um, and then like I, I went into this like not really expecting much out of it, and I didn't really care for it at first. But then I rewatched it again. I was like, huh, okay, this is actually pretty good. Um, uh, Ch- Tifa's sprites looked a bit off, but that's whatever. There's there's not a lot you can do with Tifa in terms of a 2D fight. Um, uh, the only other problem, the only other problem I have with it is that Chun Li was basically kind of like she was winning the whole thing. Um, Tifa yeah. didn't. Yeah, yeah, Tifa didn't really like have much advantage. Have much of a, an advantage in the fight. She was just kind of getting. She was getting her butt kicked most of the time. Um, right. Not to say she didn't get hits in. Um, on the next one. Um, uh, but she she didn't get a lot. Um, but and it's whatever. The fight was cool. It was oh it was so clean too. It was. Um, it was very crisp. Yeah, it was very yeah. crisp. That was, that was so fluid. It was great. I also love. I have a soft spot for when voice clips blend together so much. Um, <laughs> when when uh, when Tifa was like, "You ready?" and Chun Li was like, "Ready when you are." I was like, "Oh, that yeah. was great." That was, really, that was a really good. Like, those flowed together. Right? Yeah. Uh, also, uh, Chun Chun Li like. Uh, Freaking like no cell final heaven. That was that's uh, kind of like uh, she kind of canceled it. I was like, oh well, okay. <laughs> I couldn't I like, couldn't believe she did that. I thought it was co- no show in the counter or what? Yeah, I thought she was gonna like. I thought I thought that was gonna be the end of it. Like, Teeth was gonna use final heaven. I was like, well, third R.I.P. Chen Li, um, and then she just like. Mixed it, and I was like, "Oh, well, okay. Well, now, now I'm like, well, uh, uh, R.I.P. Tifa." Um, and then she, she like judo chopped her. Ugh. Okay. Um. Uh. 
on that note, while the, while the, while the death was, was brutal, and, you know, sometimes brutal deaths can be fun, um, this one was kind of, eh, like this, um, like, I, I appreciate what, what happened, but at the same time, it just felt kind of anticlimactic, and the blood effects felt kind of meh, um, yeah. uh, but it's whatever, um, also the music was up, was, yeah. yeah, music was, yeah, music, it, music it, was fine, I guess the whole thing was kind of meh. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I mean, the actual yeah. animation and fight were for, was pretty good. Um, like it's, it's good. It's just not like fantastic. It's not like a fantastic DBX. Um, right. It's 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 one of my, it's one of my favorites this season. So far. Oh, it's my favorite by far. It's it's only competition is like Gambit versus Taskmaster. Um, uh, but this this one beats it. Um, not by like that much, but it does. Um, um, also, the only thing, the only other thing I'll add is that the new outro is pretty, is pretty, is pretty neat. Um, yeah. Uh, having Not the way, the new way they're doing it, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's clearly like an, uh, it's clearly an After Effects uh, credit, and it was, I liked it a lot. Um, that they, they I like started... the fact, I like the fact that they actually show the actual names of the animator. Like we've seen it before, but right. sometimes you. It, you miss it, but the moment it ends, it says animated by this guy, and I, and I like that. So yeah. now we get to see, actually see who is making these these uh, battles. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. Uh, this isn't like Zach's best animation ever. In fact, I'd say in terms of his DBXs, it's uh, probably like his, my least favorite. But that's not to knock the that's not to knock this one down. It's just to bring up the. It's just to put up the other two. Um, uh, because they were really good, and this one, while good, it just wasn't as good. Um, that's really it. It's not so much that this one just didn't have a lot to go, have a lot going for it. It's just that the other two had too much going for it. Um, so, uh, yeah, pro my, probably my least favorite uh, DBX done by Zach, but at the same time, it's still good. I mean, to be fair, it's the other two were Broly versus Doomsday and. Yeah. Uh, Chief, uh, Chief versus Samus. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, <laughs> and like you, you really like those two. Items. Yeah, those. The, yeah, I like those two a lot. Um, yeah, Broly yeah. died. And <laughs> yeah, I hate Broly. Then again, who? <laughs> then again, who likes Broly? Um, I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure people love. I'm sure there are some people that love Broly. In which case, they're probably they're either crazy or liars. Um, um, all right, so uh, now that the now that I have the now that I have a target painted on my back from DBZ guys, um, now you can I have a target on your back from uh, Pokemon guys. Yeah. Oh, just for just for quick clarification, I love DBZ, so people don't like get get this target off my back. Um, uh, yeah. Now now that now I got the now now I got even more uh, going for me, and it's not just Pokemon now; it's just everything. Yeah. Uh, Thor versus 100 Pikachu. We're moving on. Or, right. or uh, call that yeah. Thor vs. 100 Man Smash. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, Thor, it's, 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 uh, it's basically Pokemon Abuse, the DBX episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> call Peter. It is. Uh, call <laughs> Peter. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, uh, I, we should probably start off with the positives on this one. Uh, the positives is that uh, the animation was pretty good, the sprites looked pretty yeah, good, I, and the voice clips yeah, were pretty I, good, and Thor won. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I like how, like, I like it was the a no-brainer he was gonna win. I know, but uh, Thor's been... Like I know, but Thor's been getting crapped on in Versus now, and I don't like it, so I was hoping he would get this one. Yeah, I I like how, like, it started like, with it, like, being, like... A, like opening like a Pokemon game. That, that was oh, really I cool. love that too. That was that was that was, that was, that was a great was, touch. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was great. Uh, as for everything else, um, yeah, it was um, a massacre. It was a massacre, yes. and not a very yes. good massacre. Genocide. Like, it was yes, genocide. It was, <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was uh, it was bad. I thought this was bad. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I was like very like hurt by this episode. I'm not gonna lie. Um, um, I love I love both Thor and Pikachu. I actually like Pikachu more, so it was so it surprised me that I was rooting for Thor. Um, 
Um, I knew I, I, I knew he was gonna win, um, and I was hope I was hoping he would because he needs to redeem himself. He's been losing a lot lately, um, and I don't like it at all. Um, um, at the same time, though, did it have to be Pikachu? Why though? No, 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 it, no it had to be a hundred Pikachu's. No, yeah, that's, that's the very weird part. <laughs> here's no. Here's the th here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, first off, okay, I'm I am perfectly okay with Thor taking this win. I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. That that being said, whoever thought that this was a good idea clearly has something against Pikachu, or even like just Pokemon as a whole. There's yeah. clearly st who I want to know who thought this was a good idea, and I want to give them like a like a sucker punch, um, because <laughs> they Dang. they, Dang. they, they th yeah they thought that you know like I like that. They, uh, my guess is that they have, and I'm not even joking. This is I'm I'm being legit serious here. Um, th like whoever thought this was a good idea has something against Pikachu, and they're um, and they're all like, okay, I have that much. Like I hate Pikachu that much. I don't want to just kill him once. Let's have let's let's have a hundred Pikachu's and have them all die instantly. Um, <laughs> if you um, think about it, it, gave Pikachu a fighting chance in a way, but. <laughs> Uh, like, not really, but no, they really didn't. Wait, though, if you know, it was, it was Pikachu versus Thor. It, it's a clear stomp, and I don't like using the word stomp, but it would have been a clear stomp. But at least it gave Pikachu somewhat of a fighting chance to have a legion of them going after a god, a god that has fought frost giants and other yeah. gods. So. Here's but, but but, but here's the problem. It didn't give him. It didn't give him an advantage. No, it didn't. didn't. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're look, right. Yeah. Look, right. So I couldn't stop laughing at this episode no, when I was watching. Look, I was like, "This is like." <laughs> yeah. Look back at the look at look back at the episode and realize that Thor didn't get touched once the entire way no, through. This like, was just like this. What was, the heck were they thinking with this yeah, one? Is what I want to you, know. You know what makes it worse is that. I, what makes it worse is that because of how good the animation is, you can tell that the animator, like, put in effort into this. He was clearly having some fun here. So right. even if he didn't, so even if he didn't come up with the idea of, uh, of this matchup, he still agreed that like, hey, I don't like killing Pikachu once is just kind of like, no, we got to go further beyond that. Let's have him die like thirty thousand times, over and yeah. over again. Um, I didn't even. I watched. Um, I, 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 I think Steven, Steven did had a good time wa um, making that. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah, like, he definitely yeah. did. And that's, now, question that's, is, question is, what if Pikachu did win? Like, oh, what would be the man. reaction of everybody? Okay, first of all, first of, first of all, he would have had to go to Raichu. And second of all, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Marvel fans. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would have liked. I I actually kind of would have liked that because it's an unex like when whenever they do like a one versus thousands uh matchup or like one versus an army, you can tell that the one is going to win. It's obvious. It's it's always obvious that the one character is going to win right. when went up against an entire so they kinda, army. They kind of did it before with Bruce Lee with all the other characters. Yeah, that was inspired it's, by Bruce Lee. Yeah, it's, it's not even just that Bruce Lee was going to win. Yeah, it's not even just DDX. It's just, just and. Every every single animator has done like the, people have every single animator that has done like a one character versus an army type matchup. The one character always wins. They always win. Um, so like Would you why call it a wank fest? Maybe wank it depends. Like it depends. It, it depends. It depends on how, on how accurate that actually is. In this case, it is. In, in this case, it is. So no. Um, uh, <laughs> but at the same time, man. Pikachu, I, I I get the whole let's have a hundred because you know one Pikachu doesn't doesn't stand a chance against Thor. I right. get that, but right. it doesn't help that that even a hundred Pikachu's couldn't touch Thor. Right. That's. I mean, I was, I, how fast Thor is and the experience he has. I. Okay, but here's why okay, but here's wouldn't touch him. Not okay. one of them touch him. Okay, but here's the thing, and this is something I argue all the time. DBX doesn't give a flying crap about research. <laughs> right. True. 
True. Very, very true. true. Very true. Very true. So even even ju even just to have Thor get like have a challenge would have been great. It would have been actually really good. But no. Right. We, we, well, well, what uh, isn't he immune to electric attacks anyway? Yeah, but screw logic. Like. <laughs> <laughs> It's Steve. It's, it's Steve X. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, because I, I could have sworn I know he's a, immune to that. So even he a is. ball of lightning for Pikachu is not going to really do much. So whether it touched him or not in this episode, well, okay, it, well, it wouldn't make a difference. Well, okay, well, even aside from that, quick attack, volt tackle, iron tail, just have something there that can actually, like, have him actually... Have, have them give Thor a challenge. Not just have them all get slaughtered in an in instant. The guy yeah. killed Frost Giants! You think a little mouse is gonna even gonna make him sweat? DDX does. I know, I know, I know, I know, and it's no research, but it's just. I don't know. I don't know. I just. That's why I was laughing this whole thing. Oh. Like, a Legion of Pikachu versus a God of Thunder. It's like. This whole this whole argument of Thor did this, Thor did that, all Thor did this. Pikachu can't t can't can't hurt him. All be all can be count all can be countered by it's DBX. They don't care. Um, <laughs> yeah, put, put put Thor against Zeus next time. Yes. I mean, Zeus would, would be a better opponent for. Wait, which Zeus? For, uh, which God Zeus? Of War. God oh, okay. Of War Zeus. God of War Zeus. I I can see yeah, that. I can. Yeah. See okay. That. That's a better. You know, yeah. At least that one's a I thought you were gonna say Zeus from Hercules, but uh, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say I, that. I was like, nah. No, I was merely thinking. Speed from God of War. Yeah, I was merely thinking God of War. I, I was yes. Thinking, I thought you were saying that God of War. Yeah. So, uh, that would that would actually be really that actually be really cool. I actually, I'd be down for that one actually. Yes, that's um, what I'm getting at. That would be a great matchup. You know? they, yeah. They, so there is someone who has a, a research versus show here that could possibly do it. Ah, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything. Um, um, so yeah, overall, uh, I found this one pretty bad. I actually didn't know how to think about this one at first. Um, like when I first watched it, I was like, what do I say? Like, it's not good, it's not bad, it's, I don't, I can't even say it's meh. I, I don't know what to say. And then I thought about it more, like, a while later, and I was like, wow, okay, never mind. This is actually pretty bad. Um, uh, yeah, but, they were just yeah. fucking around. Yeah. yeah, they were just oh. fucking around. This is what—that's what, what DBX is all about. This I know, but it's pretty much do random stuff and just fuck around. I mean, like, they, like people were get losing their shit over Gambit versus Taskmaster. Oh, it's not—they're in the same universe. It's like, guys, no, I get no that. Rules, just bloodshed. Let's just have some fun here. Come on. Right. <laughs> no, I get. I get that. Like that's that, that. Like I'm okay with that. But this is not. This is not it. This is. But I think. I think it's pretty clear for me to say that this is probably the worst DBX of the season. Um, yeah. Ouch. Uh, Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. I can. I. I mean. I. I like. I completely agree with you. But like. I. I just find it pretty meh. I can just... sum up in. I can sum it up in three letters for me. W T F. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's it right that's there. That's my rea That's actually that's my reaction. Um, my like, my reaction was I just couldn't stop laughing. It was just <laughs> me. It was that mm, funny. It was funny to me. <laughs> just see them slaughter all those tickets. And what's worse is that like I'm 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 a huge Pokemon fan, so it was just kind of it it hurt me a lot. And especially it hit home. especially considering Pikachu is my especially considering that in my personal opinion I find Pikachu my favorite Pokemon. Um. Like it's my favorite Pokemon versus my second favorite Marvel character, um, and yeah. So obviously, like watching them all get like one shot, just Yikes. as no, like it, it. Yeah, it's it's bad. I found it bad. Um, Yikes. Like oh my soul. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> you guys want to? You guys want to rate this one too? Oh yeah, weren't we gonna do that with the other? Uh, oh, um, DBX too. Uh, I was I was thinking about just doing it for death battles, but I mean yeah, we can do it for DBXs too. Uh, Chun Li vs Tifa, uh, seven and a half. Seven yeah, half, I give yeah. it about seven and a half. Uh, about seven, yeah. 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 
And then four versus B two left. Five. Four. Six. Six and a half. Four. Um, I'm a s seven right here. Like four. I, said, I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. It was that entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving it a. I love Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. I love Pikachu. I love Pokemon, but it just it was just funny. Uh, okay, Chun Li vs Tifa. I'm giving it a seven and a half. Uh, Thor vs One Hundred Pikachu's. Uh, four. It's it's bad. Um. Well, technically, it's Thor vs One Hundred Pikachu. Because screw screw attack don't grammar. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Um. Did, did, did they say Pikachu's? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they um, did. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's supposed to be Pikachu, like yeah. five Pikachu, they made, 100 no. Pikachu. No, what's, fun, at, um, what's, what's funny is that they did the same thing with um with uh, Alucard versus Dimitri. They spelled uh, Dimitri's name with an yeah. I instead of an E. Um, I even mentioned that to them, and then like, people were getting on my case and saying, like, what does it matter? I said, dude, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying. And they, they didn't change it. I'm not bashing them. I'm just saying that they made the mistake on his name. And they oh. didn't. They didn't change it either. Like, I'm, I'm sure they've gotten a bunch of people saying, well, why is it? Why did you spell it this way? You misspelled it. Um, they could have easily like respelled it, and they didn't. Um, I got some people tell me, well, in some cultures, it's this. It's spelled this way. It's spelled that way. Like, yeah, but we're talking about the character Demi. Yeah, I was about Maxwell to say from Darkstalkers. Yeah, so it's all that stuff doesn't way. matter. And even if it's from Japan, no matter where it was from, whether it's Japan or in the States, it's still spelled the same way. So don't give me that whole, oh, it's from a different um, region. That's why it's spelled this way. And that, that that's like, guys, do your research, man, please. Yes. Um, um, Proboscis, on your earlier <laughs> note, I was actually checking it's just Pikachu, not Pikachu's. Oh, is it? They must have changed it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, yeah, look, I'm gonna look at it actually. At, at the YouTube video right now, Thor vs. 400 Pikachu DX. Okay, good. The one you linked uh, in news. Oh. Here. Yeah, they must have changed it. I don't know. Because you, cause you know Pokemon fans will have a cow if they say it grammatically incorrect. Yeah. They're listening to us. They're all around. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, no, I we're felt done. that was needed. Not my apologies. No, we're done. Uh, yeah. So, so now, um, so duo, um, you yeah. are you are our guest of honor. Um, I say mm -hmm. this. I say this every single time. Um, uh, yeah. So what we do with guests is that we talk about their favorite episodes, their least favorite episodes, and the fights they want to see, and yada yada yada, all that stuff. Um, so, what what is your favorite death battle that they have done so far? Uh, my all-time favorite death battle, and I mentioned this many times, is Solid Snake versus Sam Fisher. I get to use Metal Gear music! <laughs> uh, reason the reason why the reason why because t in my opinion this is like probably the closest fight that death battle has ever done oh and no that's is, is that one of okay how about this one of one sure of, one okay of, one okay. of sure yeah uh, it was but it was choreographed well i love the music uh, they use i forgot what game it was from max anarchy um, Anarchy yes, Rains. Yes. Whatever. Yes. It it was just it was it fits so well and I loved how they using their counterparts with you know their support and whatnot. Yeah. And what Otacon did to oh my god, I, I thought Otacon getting involved was great and yeah. just everything about it was was awesome. It the, was the final blow was brutal. It was oh, like yes. yeah. holy shit. Like get it a neck through your mandible from the bottom yeah. of your mandible up to your neck <laughs> up to your brain like holy crap and honestly i was voting for sam fisher to win but <laughs> i was surprised i was surprised that okay okay what just happened here i thought sam fisher was gonna win this but nope okay nope <laughs> but i was as always i'm ne i'm never salty when it comes to the results but when they explained the whole 
nanobots thing because I was thinking like, yeah, EMP will take him down. But then when they explain about the the microwaves that he was in in, uh, I think it was uh, Metal Gear Four. Yeah. I was I... like, oh yeah. I said I did not think about that. See, okay, okay. So, so this is something well, that this is something that me and the entire Nerdbender crew, which maybe, um, uh, share that uh, don't share in common is that uh, is what we feel about um, some fights results. Um, uh, they will, they can, they are willing to accept what uh, Screw Attack says, which I'm, per which more power to you guys. Um, uh, me personally, I like to look at things on how, uh, on how I would see it, and how a bunch of other people would see it, see how they would compare, and then what Screw Attack says. Um, and if they don't oh, mix, don't me, if they don't mix, no, don't then there's something wrong. wrong here. Yeah, don't get me wrong. There are there are some battles that I had some disagreements with. You know, oh, okay, you know, that's new to me. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Like with you know Nerdbender, we're more easy going with it, but yeah. I have interject some things like uh, I don't agree with this I don't agree with that but I look at it as as I always I always look at it as like a possible outcome is it the solid solid answer no. to the whole debate no because I know there are other people who have a different interpretation and I'm always willing to listen to their interpretation you know yeah. that's why I always say like if you want to discuss and debate about it go right ahead do you agree with this battle or not you know because I don't look at it as concrete evidence that this is the actual answer to yeah. the battle the difference but the difference what, though is what, I, go ahead yeah the difference though is okay I, to I totally agree with you i totally see what you're saying the difference though is when i was saying how like what how i view it and then how a bunch of other people view it we kind of have that kind of sort of discussion and then the video and then the episode comes out and there's some and they're completely different from what we're all saying and there's like okay we're all like okay there's something there's something wrong here. Um, uh, the, most of the time, we all just kind of like we, we agree, like we, we like we agree with what we're, th what we're saying, and then Screw Attack puts their video out, and it's entirely different from what we're saying. Um, we're just like, mm, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> this this fight though, this fight though is not one of them. We we uh, I I agree. This snake would snake would win. And I was rooting for him. Yeah. I was rooting for him the whole way through. Um, yeah. mm. And and in terms of the animation, I feel it's like one of like Torian's like best works in my opinion. Like, it's definitely up there. Yeah, I would agree. Well, it's definitely up there. Like, yeah. like it's 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 no like Dante versus Bayonetta, but it's but we got like Wolverine versus Raiden or Iron Man versus Lex. They're like yeah, yeah, those are really good. Um, yeah, and. The voice act. Uh, did you mention the voice acting? Already? Oh, the voice acting. Oh, yeah. it was great. Voice acting was, was so great. good. It's one of those are one of my favorite voice. That this episode features one of one of, some of my favorite cast of voice acting ever. Um, and I always kind of go back and forth on which one's my favorite. Um, uh, but um, no, this one definitely had a great cast. Like everyone did great. Um, right. I would agree. They did. They did a pretty good job there. Especially since, hey, especially since, hey guys, Christopher Sabat was Solid Snake. <laughs> that was. Really if you don't, really if if you people watching don't know for some reason, um, Christopher Sabat is the voice of Vegeta, Piccolo, and Yamcha in Dragon Ball Z. He is Zoro. He is Zoro in One Piece. He is All Might in My Hero Academia. And he is probably some character in Ruby whose name I am completely forgetting at this point. So this guy does a lot of anime voice acting. He did yes. Oh, yeah, at least that's what I'm getting out of that. Yes. And he did voice a lot. Of, uh, who do you voice in Smokey vs. Well? Smokey. Smokey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You did voice. Me. Yeah. Sorry. You guys kind of cut that, cut out there for a sec again. Ah, I'm sorry. He voiced. I did he, I have problems. He, he voiced in DBZ, One Piece, and My Hero Academia. That's what we were saying. Um, oh, okay. Um, not to discredit the other character, not, not to discredit the other voice actors. It's just that this, it's just that you can't beat you can't beat Christopher Savitt. You just can't. Um. Um. Although Brad Brad Venable 
who voiced Otacon comes close. Especially since he's also uh, a recurring voice actor for Death Valley. He voiced Dan in Dan vs. Hercule. Um, um, then we got, I think it was Ben Reynolds who voiced Sam. Um, and uh, Whitney Rogers, I think, who voiced Grim. I think. I have a list somewhere I could look it up, but I'd, I don't have it on me right now. Um, but yeah, no, this was, this, I, I totally agree, this fight was, this fight was great. It's definitely not my favorite, not even in, like, Season 2. That, that title, Season 2 favorite for me would probably go to, uh, Tony V. Wax. Um, but, um, but no, this one, not, I'm not discrediting this one, this one was great. Uh, I like it a lot. And yes, I get to use Metal Gear music. And yes, I get to use Metal Gear music. I don't get to use Metal Gear Rising, <laughs> not Metal Gear Rising music, which is way better. Um, but Metal Gear music as a whole, yes, I get to use it. Yay! Awesome. Um, all right. So we're getting we're getting negativity out of the way now. Um, so least favorite episode duo. Uh, least favorite would be Rebecca Black versus <laughs> Justin oh, uh, Bieber. Dang it. No. My all-time least favorite. Uh, of course. Yeah. Less, less, less said the better. Yeah. yeah we right. we let's, less let's, said the better. We went uh, over. So now, so now it's uh, so now it's uh. Richard and uh, uh, Richard and Brobuskis, me and David, and now Duo and Josh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Josh, Josh well, well, when Josh was on, he he thought he considered this his least favorite. Um, yeah. So that's in, that's yeah. And we talked about this very brief back then too. Um, uh, moral of the story is that it was absolute trash. Um, right. Um, it wasn't just trash; it was a drizzling shit. Yep, <laughs> it's it's a it's a cringy. That's how I felt about it. It's a <laughs> I can't believe you're so. It's, <laughs> it's 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 a cringy fight that exists solely to bully these two. Which I mean, I don't like these two. Not not to say that I'm defending these two, um, but yeah, th that's no, that's that that's uncalled. It's uncalled for even at even for these two people. Um, although this was this was before Beaver did anything like really bad, so, um, like, like uh, personal bad, not like uh, talent bad. Um, yeah. I've always found him talent bad, he was but always yeah, he was he was always talent bad, but he never was like personal bad. Uh, but uh, this was before that. Um, um, so now now it's just kind of now it just kind of feels uncalled for. Like, why does it exist? Yeah. Um, and even Ben was like, yes. even Ben looked back and was like, wait, I, like, wait, hold on, back up. Why did we do this again? Uh, <laughs> when well, even the creator had to question why they did it, you know yeah. they did something. Yeah, it was well, good. Here's the question. I, why did Rebecca Black do Friday? And why did Justin Bieber do Baby Baby? I'm not playing those mute. I'm not playing those tracks over over this. Yeah, don't. Please don't. Please do don't. It. Some <laughs> questions are best left. Yo, know, some questions are best left unanswered. Right. Yeah, I think Ben. I think Ben looked back at the list of episodes he did. I think he said like it was this one and Dig Dug versus Bomberman that he was like, wait, why did we do these again? Um, yeah, except Dig Dug versus Bomberman actually kind of made sense. That, that episode. Yes. Was like. Yeah. Like, uh, like both episodes are trash, but at least Barman members Dig Dug made somewhat sense. Right. Um, I actually watched that one. Time. Why did Dig Dug win that at one again? But anyway. Yeah. Um, also, uh, I think he also it was, it was him and Chad. They looked back at Thor versus Raiden and it was like, yeah, this was way too stompy. Why did we do this? But they were still like, yeah, it's at least somewhat. It makes they, somewhat they sense. The gods of thunder. thunder. Yeah. Right. They, um, even acknowledge that in Thor vs. Wonder Woman, like, why do we, why do we put this guy up against Britain again? Yeah, that one was such a disgusting stomp. Um, <laughs> but they oh, made it into oh, a good episode, fun. so. Um, yeah. Also, one thing before I wanted to mention. So, um, does since you hate all three, does that mean does that make Thor vs. Wonder Woman, Thor vs. Vegeta, and Thor vs. 100 Pikachu's an unholy trinity for Thor? 
I don't hate Thor vs. Wonder Woman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't care for it, but I don't hate it. Um, uh, but, yeah. No. Uh, not really. Um, I'll, I, I kind of see what you were getting at. Um, um, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah, bottom line. Oh, also, uh, they, they, why did they use Scott Pilgrim sprites? Because, because you expect them to find, to go out and find slash make sprites for these two. Yeah, okay, well, that, that makes sense, but okay. then it just kind of, like, all, all the stuff that's wrong with this, all the stuff that's bad about this episode just kind of points to the quest, like, like, why do this, why do that? And it just all kind of boils down to, why do it at all? Right. And we're still kind of scratching our heads thinking, why did they do this at all? Um, but yeah, so no, this episode was bad, and I agree that it, right. that, it's, that, that, that was, never should have existed. Um, that was never. That's probably got to be very questionable. And, you know, I probably would even argue, I'm tempted to just blow it out right now, that Pinkie Pie versus Deadpool is way better than that. Oh, it's by far. Fun. Yeah, by far. <laughs> this... Dead, oh, okay, Pinkie Pie Pinkie Pinky Pinky Pie's Deadpool makes this one look actually wait no uh, mm, the idea makes this one makes makes it look decent but the the, the episode was way better. Um, right. So yeah, so we got yeah. we got one of their best and then one of their worst. So now duo. What's yes. a, what's a fight you want to see? I think I know. I actually I have I, I actually have four. That four. I would like to see. Four, okay. Four. Uh, can okay. we, can we, uh, make, let's make it quick. Okay, make it quick. Okay, one of them is Samurai Jack versus Afro Samurai. Hey, we talked about this okay. one before. A long time ago, but we did. It, it would be really um, Samurai Jack stomps. That's what the moral of the story the last time was, but it would be cool. Um, yeah, the moral of the story for this one is that, uh, it'd be cool, uh, but... Uh, Jack, went, Jack wins pretty handily. Um, right. So um, another one I would like to see is Blade versus Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Ooh, I, I haven't heard that right. one in a while. Um, I think I have. That sounds. Uh, believe it, but... believe it, believe it or not, that's actually being done by uh, uh, Bat and the Sun's Super Oh, Game that's down. right. Be, I forgot about that, that one. Um, back. So, yeah, but I, I would like to see it in Death Battle too. So yeah. Uh, I, I know no, I know nothing about Buffy. I'm pretty sure, like, I know she's ridiculously superhuman, um, but I I don't think it reaches anything compared to other Marvel street levels, which Daredevil would not Daredevil what, uh, Blade Blade, uh, Blade would scale to. I, Blade like Blade has fought like Spider Man, I think. Um, um, so yeah, I, I'd give it to Blade, but it'd be it'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, the third one would be Bane coming back for a second time versus Captain America for the second time. What? And it's more, it's more of a super soldier serum versus the Venom. Kind of oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see where you're getting that. Interesting. I, I, okay. I, I, sorry, my mom kind of interrupted me, but I, I get it. Like Bane versus Cap. I think it would actually be pretty decent to see. Maybe I'm not afraid. on Death Metal necessarily, but just in general. Yeah, like yeah. a DBX or... Yeah, like a DBX. Yeah, like a DBX. That could be like a really good DBX. I, it, like, okay. I, I, I think it's a cool idea, but like... Uh, right. If Bane comes... Uh, if Bane comes back, I would like I I would I would put him against like maybe like either like Crossbones or like the Kingpin. Um, that's just what I would do. The, I think you kill the Kingpin. No, no, Kingpin has. Kingpin's obviously, honestly like kind of more of like a worse, uh, like more of a b bigger gap than even like Bane v Venom. Um, well, mm. Mm, I I'll, I'll backtrack on that, but I still think it, it's no. I, I think Kingpin would take it pretty handily. I don't know about Crossbones, um, because I don't know how how high he scales too. Um, Cap, I'm pretty sure I beat him. Um, yeah, it would it, it would definitely be like interesting, as well, and it would actually give Bane somewhat of a challenge. Yeah, that's Not, true too. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I I actually haven't seen that one requested a lot for Death Battle, so that's actually a really interesting one. Right. Right. But um, and the last one, which I know a lot of people has been asking for, and I hope they do this. I even hope 
that they'll do it as a live action death battle. Mm-hmm. And that is Red Hood versus Winter Soldier. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. And I I've been I asking I was like saying like this will be a good opportunity to make this uh the first ever live action death battle because <laughs> I've seen I've seen people portray the Red Hood and Winter Soldier in other versus battles that is live action and I think why can't they do it themselves as well like if they can do the hand drawn flash animation they've done many other things except for uh, live action and I think this would be a good opportunity to do a live action death battle with Red Hood and with the soldier but if they don't it'll still be good to see in 2D or even 3D I would probably work better, but I'm, that's still yeah, a very cool idea. I'm kind of uncomfortable with the idea of a de- of a live action death at all. Um, I mean, okay, it depends on how they go about it. You'd have to like really step up your game to do a live action right. death battle. It's not something all I. Right. It's like I know Square Tech has done live action shows before, some of which even had combat into them, like the. Uh, uh, the late uh, the industry, which I loved that show. I'm very sad it's I over. Did. No, um, uh, and they had a fight. And they had a fight for the final episode. And they had a fight in the final episode, which was good. Which was really cool. I liked that episode a lot. Um, um, but for like for to use like fictional characters and st- and such, I don't I don't know how that would work out under screw what they could do, budget. What they could do is they could collab with Ismahawk because Ismahawk. Okay, that under- would work. Full, that's... It's under full screen along with uh, Rooster Teeth. Yeah. So oh, that's actually news to me. The same umbrella, they could actually go with Ismahawk and say, "Hey, can we do collab with each other?" And yeah. So it could work, and I think it might be a long shot if they go to Bat in the Sun too if they ask them to help out. But I think the best bet would be yeah. Ismahawk because Ismahawk is under full screen along with Rooster Teeth. Yeah. You know. Um. I, I would, if if we're not collabing with Ismahawk, I would prefer if we just st- stuck with like 3D for fights like this. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. does, that's just does me. Does Winter Soldier even have a 3D model? Yes, he does. He has quite a bit actually. Um, From where? Um, I think he's in Ultimate Alliance. Um, oh. Uh, there's, uh, Re- uh, Rise of the Re- Revengeance or whatever. I forget what it's actually called. Um, he's probably in that. Um, he's in a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Um, yes. Uh, so they have they have the models for it. Yeah, and obviously Red Hood has his Injustice model. Um, yeah, Injustice, okay. and not to mention um, um, Arkham Knight. Oh, that too. Yeah. Yep. Ar- he's in Arkham Knight, so they can use that as well. Yeah. yeah. I, it would be, it would be a really cool fight to see. It would be. Also, uh, Red Hood's dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Winter, Winter Soldier has Winter Soldier has gone up against people that just don't they they don't like Red Hood doesn't compare. Um, I like Red Hood and all, you know, but you know what the Batman you know what the Batman fans are gonna say? They're gonna say that well, I don't care. Red Hood was trained by <laughs> Batman. He was, he was trained by Batman, but again, even though you're trained by Batman. You're not Batman. Thank I don't you. Care who you are? Thank I, you. I, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Say. I was gonna say. Tell that to Terry, but I forgot he actually. Won. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. But I, I, I'm gonna say because so, like the logic of these Batman fans of thinking that well, Batman had trained this guy, trained this guy, trained this girl. So and let's not forget. They and win. let's not, let's not forget that Batman is just Batman, and obviously Batman's still a fiction just... because he's Batman. He's prepared for everything, <laughs> like totally. <laughs> so if he's the beginning of the season and Batman vs Spider Man. Yeah, if you're trained by Batman, then now you have now that you, now you technically are Batman. Therefore, because you're Batman, you pretty much win everything because you're prepared for anything. Because you know if that was, that's if, legit. Here's the thing: if that was the case, why would Jason Todd go rogue? Right? Yeah. If, if, uh, exactly. Like he he if, was going violent on his on the enemies before he got killed by the Joker. And not to mention Azrael. Yeah. Azrael is another one. Like, he went rogue. 
It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> and he was, he was trained by Batman. Yeah, this this whole this this whole thing of I was trained by Batman, therefore I win. It doesn't apply to anybody. It doesn't even apply Ooh. to Batman most of the time. It, right. That's been, like even if it does, they're often pit, even if it does, these Batman characters are often pitted against people who are even better martial artists than they are. Um, like be, trained by Batman or not. Whether the whole being trained by Batman means you are now Batman is even legit or not, they've gone up against people that are even better martial artists than that. So it doesn't exactly. But even then, it it doesn't matter if you're st if, if if you're st if, if you're out st uh, if your stats are not enough, it doesn't matter. If, and Winter Soldier has done too. Uh, he's he's so bull of crap. He's just. He's he's got so much crap that he can do that just Red Hood doesn't compare whether he was trained by Batman or not. Um, vibranium arm and yeah, vibranium arm intelligence. Intelligence, yeah, be better fighting. Um, yes, better fighting. Shut up, Batman fans. Um, <laughs> uh, look, he's a better fighter than Captain America. He's outmatched. He's he's matched Spider Man. Um, he's even, like, gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Black Panther, which is enough right that's, then and there. That's no easy feat right there, man. Yeah, like, that's enough right then and there to, t to say, hey, by the way, I'm a better fighter than you. Um, because Black Panther has, like, he knows, uh, martial arts that, uh, that most people don't even know exist. Um, and some of them that are all, that are exclusive to the Marvel Universe. So there's no way that anyone outside of the Marvel Universe can say, oh, he's using this martial art. Oh, he's using this martial art. Um, yeah, so it, it doesn't it doesn't matter how good of a fighter you are if you're if, if the stat stomp is too big and it and it's the and it's too big. Winter Soldier has done too much ridiculous stuff. Um, but it would still be a good fight. It would be, yes. Um <laughs> Yeah, it would be it would be a good fight, and uh, Torian would probably like give it his all. Um, so yeah, um, so I guess we're I guess we're I guess we're done here. Um, uh, okay. well, yeah, we I are. I mean, I guess are we not gonna do a bonus topic or does it Um, I'm okay. I wanted I want to do a bonus topic. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Um. Uh. Oh, bonus topic? Okay. What is it? Um. I mean, will it be okay with you guys? Or? I I I have an idea, but at the same time, I don't know if David has seen this. I mean, uh, I I explain. I had a back. I had another idea, like a backup idea, just in case. Uh. Okay. Uh. David, did you see the the thing that that duo did? Uh. What thing? Uh. Oh. Yeah, I, I did I a thing. Know. Did Did you see the thing? <laughs> that sounds familiar to me, but could you? Do you, want, do you want me to link the thing? Do you want me to link the thing? Maybe that. Oh uh, sure. Yeah, ha oh, yeah. Okay. Link the thing. Uh, <laughs> sure watch that that podcast. Too. It's, it's an awesome. It's an awesome thing. It is an yeah, awesome you know, thing. Pretty nice thing. Uh, I w it was a thing I was. Why? Gosh dang. Sorry. That didn't work. I did this thing, but then this one asshole leaked this thing, but then, you know. Yeah, that thing. That thing made me so freaking mad. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that, we don't need to talk about that thing. That's, that's, oh, no. yes. Okay. We that, don't have that. Yes, we don't. Okay. We did, did, well, make sure, to, make sure to watch after this. Um, okay, so David has not seen the thing. Okay, Z Dog, what's your, what, was, what were you going to bring up? Okay, I was going to bring up, uh, so. Since Thor vs. Wonder Woman happened, uh, it has been shown that two returning characters can come back to fight each other. Right. So I thought it would be a good idea, a cool idea, <clears throat> and especially since uh, Duo brought up Bane vs. Captain America, which actually would be a pretty good fight for that thing, hinted. Um, I I think it would be a really good idea, a cool idea. Like Think of matchups that involve two returning characters and see if they would make a death battle. Um, uh, okay. Well, actually, um, could I pitch my idea, uh, for sure. Buskus? Or sure. It was the one we were talking about earlier. The Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's yeah, go with that. Yeah. Actually, like, have one for the fans to kind of comment on, you know? Um, like, 
like as a hypothetical idea, you know, right. they're going to do this one. I not, doubt it. It sounds a bit weird, but before we, before we get onto this, we're not necessarily saying that we like think this would be like like they have to do this or whatever. Right. Um, this but is just something like that, that we kind of it's kind of came up with like on the top idea. of our head. Yeah, you know, it's not like yeah. a must, but it's 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 not really a must, but it's more like a hey, this could work. Yeah, you know, there's other options, but this could work too. Yeah, okay, sure, let's All go right. with that. All right then, it is an idea that I actually came up with. I was actually asking Brobuscus and Z Dog. Uh, sadly, you weren't here for this duo, but uh, I was actually asking for an idea for Zeromus from Final Fantasy IV, the final boss. Oh, that's ah. how you pronounce it. Yeah, Zeromus. That's that's how I pronounce it. Okay. Zeromus. And eventually, I came up with the idea that hey, there's a certain ghost that might work. It is Kratos, the, the ghost of Sparta. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, hey, that might work. I mean, think about yeah. it. You know, they're both you know massively angry beings that wield immense power and have had capabilities of destroying worlds. I mean, you know. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, me and me well, and sort of. I mean, more like causing the apocalypse, not you know. Right. World like it's. Well, Zeramus could. Yeah, Samus could do that. She's been known to do. No, that. Zeramus. You know. Oh, Zemus. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, Zemus. Well, I meant Zeramus. I mean. That's what I mean. Like, Zeramus. He yeah, could do that. <laughs> yeah, Zemus. You know, was you know before Zeramus came to be. You know, Zeramus <laughs> was. Zer Zer you know, Zeramus could destroy the world. Well, um, more like he could, took control of a giant robot to do that. Hmm. You know, with, at the end of uh, well, close to the end of Final Fantasy IV. Uh, you'd have to watch it actually. Right. I mean, yeah, me, me, and David spent a long time talking about who's gonna, who should win this one. Um, yeah, we spent quite a bit. Um, uh, did we ever? I don't think we ever actually came to a to yeah, a we winner. We never came to a definite conclusion. We basically, basically, to sum it up, we've basically determined that Zeromus has like, like absolutely dwarfs it, uh, Kratos in terms of raw power and durability. Um, uh, but uh, Kratos is ridiculously faster. Um, right, and has the arsenal to back him up. Yeah, and uh, uh, counters and hacks and stuff. Zamus has hacks, right. but Kratos has counters to those hacks. Um, Kratos has an his own hacks, but Zamus could be tough enough to take all of it. We don't know. Um, right, especially with the Claws of Hades. Um, yeah. That might be something up. Actually, I don't think they used him at all. Um, in that one death battle with uh, him against Spawn, did they? I don't think so, but at the same time, I don't think they would have helped him out against Spawn. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, that is true, it's Spawn. I, I honestly doubt it would. But, I doubt it, yeah. Right, but who knows. But yeah. that's kind of a hypothetical idea, you know. I mean, what would you guys think, audience? Um, yeah. I, oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I... I, I personally think it would be a, a pretty interesting idea to see. But yeah. Right. There's there's other options for Kratos, too. Like, there's War from Darksiders, right. or Dante right. from Devil May Cry. Um, yeah. uh, even, like, David linked, like, Kratos, like, Watch Mojo. I think it was Watch Mojo. Um, they uh, did, uh, yeah. Kratos, Bayonetta. Kratos yeah. was Bayonetta. Yeah. Um, um, or even actually, I a thought that came to mind about... Um, uh, to kind of go with Kratos' whole god-killing thing, what about Kafka? Eh. He becomes a god. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, that was my first time. I was like, you know, yeah. I probably should have said that. I was like, oh wait, Kafka isn't all that angry. He's more, you know, yeah. angry. like, 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 Zeramus is, like, pure rage incarnate. It's, yeah. Like, that's what they were trying to build up with the whole fight. Um, in the Final Fantasy, yeah. I would definitely so. root for Kratos because I'm not really that big, oh, yeah. big of a Final Fantasy guy. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I can't. I don't know. I don't know who who to go with here. I might just go with Kratos just because it seems like like yeah, he's Kratos he's too fast and hacksy. But at the same time, uh, I feel like if if he gets like if he gets hit, he's probably gonna get atomized. Um, yeah, I mean, you know. Well, let's see. Um, well, long story short, uh, let's see. Uh, Zeromus has a magic nullifier, a uh, black hole, uh, Big Bang. You know, we can literally 
do that, yes. Um, huh. most powerful spell in the game, in its game. Uh, let's see. Meteor, Osmos, which I think is a health draining move. Probably. Uh, let's, let's see. But Kratos uh, has... Bio, yeah, Kratos yeah. has resisted his, uh, like, that kind of thing before with the whole life draining right. thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, now that I think about it, that's right. I forgot. They can't properly die. That's true, too, yeah. Right. Well, like, Kratos could. could die. It's just hard well, to do. They could die, per se, but, like, they've been known not to. I mean, Kratos right. has climbed out of Hades multiple times, and Zeramus said he can't technically die as long as, um... As long as there's hatred in the hearts of the many, you know. Right. Four, so. All right. So yeah. But, so that's an idea. Um, yeah, but I was just wondering, uh, what would the audience think about this one? Yeah. Uh, leave your thoughts. Yeah. Leave your thoughts down below oh, yeah. in the comments section. I'm totally not. I've, I'm totally okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, actually, that's. I was kind of like more uh, thinking like like the returning character versus the returning character. <laughs> Oh, oh like, we can go with like returning char uh, I'm, I'm characters say, but in it's general. Do with like single returning characters. Which yeah, really which was high. what my which was what my pick was gonna be. Um, uh, okay. you uh, you I'm still here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, I, I I didn't know if you like wanted to say anything about Kratos versus our like, god whatever. Zeramus. Zeramus. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a little tough to pronounce. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't know much about what is what is the name again? Zeramus. 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 Don't no. know much about him. That's why I was kind of staying quiet yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I got you. Sorry. Um, I don't know a lot about him either, to be to be honest. Um, anyways, yeah. uh, my pick's a bit more uh, simplistic. It's more like we we like this one's seen a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm going I'm going kind of the generic route. Um, uh, and it's actually quite similar to the 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 thing we were talking about before. Um, yeah, we're still calling it that. Um, um yeah. Uh. Uh, I'd like to see Ryu come back. Um, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, z -Dog knows where I'm going with this. Um, Someone. Yeah, I'd like to see Ryu come back, because although the, the idea of Ryu versus Scorpion is pretty intriguing, it's That'd it's cool. basically it's basically just, like, it's it's Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter again, and it's, like, they don't, like the, it's it's the rivalry that they have uh, in, uh, in common. They don't have a lot of actual similarities. But they're the poster boys of Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, so that's why they've been suggested, and that's why that episode exists. Um, yeah. um, but me personally, um, if Ryu does come back, which I'm sure he will at one point, um, uh, I I'd, I'd have him go up against Jin from Tekken. Oh right. <laughs> uh, it would be cool. Have <laughs> <laughs> fun. I just want everyone to know. I just want everyone to look look at the list of list of matchups that they have done and realize there is no Tekken yet. Yeah, there's like Tek like how like Tekken should have been. Oh added really? Whoa, whoa! There's no Tekken characters in Death Valley yet. No. Nope. Wow. Fact, yeah. I, in fact, I'm actually kind of surprised. Like in your most wanted match, you, you didn't bring up uh, King versus. Uh, What's that other guy's name from Virtual Fighter? Wolf Hawkfield. Wolf, Ho Wolf Hawkfield, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't mention that, like, in your most wanted matchups. It, 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 like, I still, I still want to see that match, too, but, you know, you guys asked me about my most requests. Oh, yeah. Like, one I really want, and I said, yeah, because I don't want to go through 16 of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'll, be too, that'll take too long, so I just want to go through ones that I want to see the most, but... Definitely, I would like to see uh, even a virtual fighter character make an appearance on Death Battle. Hence, why I thought of King versus Wolf Hawkfield, two pro iconic pro wrestlers in the 3D uh, fighting genre. You know, so so Ryu versus Jin, um, <laughs> um, and that too, that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. This is Ryu. Like, this is what Ryu. Is this is what Ryu is meant to have, um, basically? I I know like there's other suggestions like even freaking Liu Kang for some reason, um, although yeah, although time, screw, yeah. At the, at the same time though, screw Liu Kang, um, um, I hate I I I don't mind Liu Kang, but I hate playing against him a lot. 
Um, uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, Ryu versus Jin. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is a very thematic matchup. It'd probably be actually. It actually, I'd actually probably have it in 3D. Um, like 2D is possible. 2D is possible, but 3D would work better. 3D would definitely work better for uh, both of them. Yeah, with with Tekken and like with Tekken, you kind of have to have it in, in 3D because that's what they're known for. Um, they don't have a lot of 2D stuff. Most of it's just Mugen. Um, yeah. Um, but a good sprite. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyways, um, Ryu's boned. <laughs> <laughs> does happen yeah i can agree man no love for ryu when it comes to the i know right <laughs> he's i mean but it's true it is like i <laughs> want him to win. i want him to win but he just he dies so horribly against jen um it does horribly against a lot of his opponents let's be honest yeah um have yeah. you guys seen it from um from mighty raccoon's arcade mode yeah yes that, that one if if like Screwjack did something along those lines for like the death battle. I would be okay with that. Yeah. Like, it's it's what it like deserves. That's, yeah. It's what that. Yeah. That said, it's a it's it's a slaughter fest. Ryu doesn't say anything. like this. This is a guy like Jin's a guy who like like he he scales to Heihachi and Heihachi survives like the explosion of several Jackrobots. Um, and those Jackrobots self destructions like leveled like. The entire explosion leveled his entire dojo, um, and he walked out of it perfectly fine. Um, uh, the Jacks themselves have survived several big explosions before. Um, uh, Ka uh, Kazuya has also he has also fought Heihachi, um, and is basically the Shadow of the Hedgehog for for Jin if Jin was someone like Sonic. Um, uh, uh, and when Kazuya and uh, Heihachi fought each other, they they in their base forms they could kick so hard that they could they completely like obliterated uh, lava boulders, like legitimate lava boulders. Um, um, Ka uh, Kazuya's laser can like reach uh, can destroy a satellite um, and reach that satellite in a matter of I timed it seven seconds. Um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I thought there was, there was other things there, but there, there isn't, um, yeah, and meanwhile, Ryu, like, he's, he's strong, and he's got, uh, oh, uh, Heihachi also fought Akuma, which is enough right there, um, he lost, I mean, he lost to Akuma, and then, like, he, and then Akuma fought Kazuya in his devil form, and tied, um, and then they fought in their, and then they fought again, and we don't know how that went. Um, um, but, uh, Heihachi lost to Akuma because he had no idea who the heck he was. Um, uh, and he was too distracted by what Akuma was saying, like, why he's actually attacking Heihachi. Like, Heihachi was probably too distracted from that, um, which is, which is why he lost. But, 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 but their, their, uh, fight level also leveled his dojo, um, and he walked out of it perfectly fine. Uh, and then he fought Kazuya and managed to out overtax his uh, his devil form. But then, uh, but then uh, he was overwhelmed. Um, and Jin scales to all of this. That's the thing. Um, um, and basically, and with and in Street Fighter, it's pretty clear that Ryu and Akuma are basically equals. There's there's not a lot like there's. There, there will be sometimes when Akuma wins, and then there will be sometimes where, uh, where Ryu wins, and then there will sometimes where it's just a complete stalemate. Um, considering Heihachi has fought Akuma, and and all that sort of nonsense. Um, yeah, that that's yeah. Um, so Ryu dies, and it sucks, but this will be a fun fight to see. Yeah, <clears throat> agreed. Yeah, you go next. Yeah, um, when I think about Jin and what he's able to do, I have to go with Jin winning against Ryu. Yeah, uh, it is with a heavy heart because you know it's sad with with Ryu. He always gets the 
rough end of the stick when it comes to versus battles. You see him. I mean, he beats Luke. Ka- I mean, he beats Luke Kang. So yeah, yeah. Based on like ninety percent sure he does. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. he does. <laughs> Um, well, well, what Zito was asking Duo is what, what, what's your pick? Like, what, what, what's what, your, yeah. what would you have for return? Oh, actually, wait, no, uh, Bane versus Captain America, that was the one. Um, well, yeah. do you have any others, like, that you can think of off the top? Well, we've been at this for a while, so, um, uh, well, can we just count? Uh, mm, okay. Uh, off the top of my head, I, I can't think of much, so... Yeah, yeah right can, now. let's just let's just count uh, Bane versus Captain America as his pick and move on. Fair. Fair. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So that leaves me, and uh, I'm actually surprised like nobody brought this up. It's another Street Fighter match, and I've actually seen like this is kind of what gave me the idea to like do this like returning character thing, and I'm I would be okay if it happened, but like I'm not entirely sure uh, if it will happen. Um, it's, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it's Akuma from Street Fighter versus, uh, Shao Kahn. Oh. Yeah, I kind of figured you were gonna go with this. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a generic choice, but, like, it's kind of, like, what made me thought, thought of it. Like, if you see, like, anything, like, involving, like, Akuma and Death Battle, like, you, you're gonna see, like, this. And, like, I, I feel like Akuma, like, does need, like, redemption. Uh, Oh, hello, hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Okay. Discord glitch out on you again. No, I was keeping silent. My bad. Okay. Thank goodness it hasn't crashed on me yet. I had some internet problems last night, and I was thinking, oh crud, is this going to interfere with the recording? Uh, Thankfully, it doesn't. Anyway, um, I haven't had to switch to my phone, so there's that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've I've seen like I think Rakuma deserves like a to come back after episode two. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) This forever ago, and, but like, and uh, I do feel like Akuma, or no, I do feel like Shao Kahn would be like his second choice. Yeah. Yeah, and it would be like a really cool, cool fight to see. And we haven't actually had a Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat match since the one that I hate. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat yeah. versus Street Fighter fights though are just kind of they're kind of overdone at this point. That's that's yeah, my that's like, my issue here. Yeah, but they're. Like, I I agree, but like I feel like they should at least have like one more, and like I Fair. feel like this sh- their their final like if they're go- if they're not gonna do it whenever again, I do feel like they should this should be their final debut. It definitely shouldn't be Cameron versus Sonya, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Con dies from what? What Con dies? Oh, Con dies. Okay. I, I, is that I, I, all? We, is I, I, that all we were getting into, or are we not there yeah, yet? Yeah, that's what that, that's what I was gonna say. Like, I'm pretty sure Akuma wins. Yeah, he does. But, it's which does make me happy. Yeah, he's probably not going to, but he does. Um, Street Fighter Street Fighter characters lose all the time, and it's kind of it's I don't like it anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, they haven't won since like that one episode since since that one uh, Street Fighter episode that everybody hates. Um, back in season one. Oh. Back in season oh. one. Yeah, Late yeah, yeah, season yeah. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was um, it Shao Kahn? Oh, no, no, not Shao Kahn. Um, Shang Tsung versus Akuma. Late season one. Late yeah. season one. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll 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 show it to you. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah, uh, Khan dies. He's like he's out stat. Like he he's like the stats don't work in his favor. Um, uh, Akuma has hacks to deal with with whatever Khan has. Um, he has like some sort of like he's he's got like some weird version of, of uh, intangibility. It only works on like a few. With, it only works if he does like a few attacks. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, and, I, I think that'd be cool to see. And uh, just, and but if I, but just, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say like, but if like, just so you know, um, just for me, and I think it would be cool. Uh, Cinder versus Meadow would be like a second yes, second. yes. Yeah. Cinder versus Meadow would be cool. Um, yeah, I 
I mean, I'm I'm sure like basically go watch uh your only mates top yeah. ten. I'd also I also would have had Yang fight Tex. Like that's that's another one I would like, that's another one. Okay. Um. And, yeah. So I guess we're done. Yeah. Um, honestly, yeah, right. honestly, I think this is like one of my favorite times recording a podcast. Yeah, recently. probably. Oh yes, this was a blast to record. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Yes. It was a lot of fun, guys. And now we can add Duo to the list of people who is going to be on. Uh, whenever we've, I've always talked about the idea of like a very special episode of the podcast when Crash vs. Spyro happens. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Like, I've always had the idea in my mind that whenever that happens, the podcast we do for that to kind of talk about what's going to happen, we have basically every single guest we have we've had on uh, from uh, up until that point come back. Yeah. Um, and now we can add and now we can add duo to the list. Um, yeah, awesome. Um, alongside his other it. alongside his other nerd bender crew, well, we can Josh. I mean, it it would it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, that yeah, wouldn't make sense. He he did help. He did help. Yeah, he, he... I was there was there and there's also actually no never mind that's a secret no that's a secret project never mind um uh well uh, well I'll talk about it after we're done um okay but yeah speaking of which thank yeah thanks for watching yeah thanks for watching and <laughs> duo thanks for being on um uh, it was nice to have you on it was uh, a pleasure man it was a pleasure yeah. thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah, and it, you're welcome. And you. and you can go and come back on whenever you want. Uh, yeah. Not next episode, obviously, oh, but like. Yeah. <laughs> but awesome. You know. Thank you, though. Uh, yeah. Our guests, as you see, they 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 kind of stay in our in the Discord server whenever their episode is done, um, just yeah. because. Um, yeah. Like, there's no well, point in just re there's yeah. there's no point in just re re inviting them. Yeah. Um, yeah. so yeah, so we're done. Um, so <laughs> just like a recap, Raven vs. Twilight is meh, uh, Jero vs. Kenshiro, Kenshiro wins, um, Chun-Li vs. Tifa is good, Thor vs. 100, uh, DB, uh, DBX Pokemon Massacre is bad, um, Snake vs. Sam is duo, uh, Snake vs. Sam is duo's favorite, uh, uh, Beaver vs. Black, uh, Cancer Edition is, uh, duo's least favorite, um, uh, Dua has had four fights to talk about for his most wanted, and then we have all these returning characters that are now on screen. Um, uh, so that's it. Um, we have recorded for way longer than I, for at least twice as long as I thought. Yep. Um, <laughs> over two hours, I think. Yep. Oh, shoot. Ow. Whoa, wait. Yeah. Is this, is this longer than episode 10? No. Okay, oh. good. <laughs> that was good. Gonna say. No. <laughs> Goodness. Um, oh my gosh, I, I, I do not need reminders of that episode. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah, we're done. So, yeah. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Yep. Bye. <laughs> to the boy once more. Hey, guys. <laughs>